Charge of Emma Shinshi. Sunday. Do a little bit of TCG, among other things. Uh -huh. <clears throat> First, I'll get Dale is done <clears throat> to help the little dinosaur instead of beating up dudes. That's right. Okay. There we are, money. Anything else right here? It. Not really. Okay. To have some conflict books we could try getting today. Save up for Chaska. Have a good amount of <coughs> kindling books for other individuals. It is what it is. Let's get started with some basic daily combat. This is gonna be one of those classic defend the monument or whatever. Yeah, Leyline monolith, yeah. Okay. So I think we can get both Dia and Milani, I mean both Kinich and Milani working with Dia this time. We'll do this for a shred, a bonus damage, some fire on them, so get bonus damage from our water. Control, you're over here. I guess we could go for a hit with a big shark missile. I, mm, we should put on Dia for more fire before using that. Given how it boosts cannon shots, but it'll still work. This is still work. Put this back down then. Oh. One, two, three. Fight, and. Not on all of you, but the burning grass is helping a bit, and that's. Daily number one down. Okay. Next, we got another one of those fights. Oh, okay, just another fight against a group of tribal warriors. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Got that mining done. Hmm. I do wonder how long the TCG challenges today will take. And therefore, how much exploration will be able to get done. The real question is just... Uh, how many quests are left? Because I might end up just trying to locate them. Look on the wiki where the quests are to find them that way. Maybe. Maybe. Alright. Cool. One. Two. And I. Oh, someone's doing something. Alright. Fight, and good hit, thank you, and that's it. Really good Milani damage. It is a shame that we don't have a story in a local legend yet. But we will next patch. Especially since there are a lot more commissions that give you whistles than ones that give you story and things. I don't think there's a single one that gives you a story and things, actually. Okay. Right, another fight with a group of sword form warriors. Okay. And there we are. One, two. Thank you. One, two, three. Oh, that did not even hit properly. Oops. Thank you. And sending you. Fight. Transmission is really helping here. Cool, and that was it. Alright. Means we'll just go over this time we'll feed the baby Saurian, which means one more time with that commission and I'll get the achievement too. <clears throat> How exciting. <sighs> Alright. Got you over here. Hello. Hit again, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Yunka sore, focus on the comforting. Alright, that'll cheer him up, I hope. Shouldn't come looking for trouble to both us around. She can't look at mushrooms, meet up on the cliff. Through the time we just pick this option, we'll actually see. <clears throat> the Yunka sore. Not this time. 
Not this time. Right, this is where have the list of dead. Well, some of them. Wayfinder. Hmm. Cool. He's just over there. Gasaur is not here right now. Okay. <clears throat> That's where Norman hangs out. There's not a trace of him today. He must have hidden after that scare. Should we go searching for him now? It's in peace for a while. Just leave the mushrooms here. You got experience I see in taking care of that kid, definitely. Been working after him for a while now, so I know he's a sensitive sort. Even the set of strangers might spook him. Only after I fed for a long time was he willing to approach me. But I doubt he'll be coming out anytime soon. Now that those villains made a mess of everything, we'll need to leave him alone for a while. Thanks for coming along. Here's the reward. I love to have met that would leave Kasaurus. Don't worry, he remembers those who've done right by him. Time is right, he'll definitely come to see us. You know what? I wonder what's going on down there with the cockawattles and the buried peacock. Oh well. Let's get them away from the animal. Just in case. Alright. Thank you. And shoot. One, two. Shoot. One, two. Shoot. Okay. Give us some clearance to figure out what's going on with that peacock. Well, pheasant. Hello. Investigate. The dogs gobble it. <clears throat> oh, the horn blowing. You going to rouse or no? You just run off. Okay. Hmm. Suppose that. that yeah. Next thing is just gonna be. <clears throat> Take it down. Let's see, taking down the TCG challenges. Got a lot. More than enough for Chaska, even in the worst possible circumstances. Let me just think. A lot of polearm billets. Huh. I'm trying to think. Uh, what would be funny? I could get Dragon Spot and Spirit of Fire, but that thing will never be good no matter what. It's a matter of finding. Weapons I could actually get use out of. Footprint of the rainbow isn't even all that good for Kachina anyway. Oh well. Let's, let's condense that. Thank you. And then, just see. Go over to the forge. It's to buy that final forging blueprint. Don't believe I have it yet. Alright. Thank you. Okay, alone. Bye. Yep. No, we actually don't have the flowers for it. Well, again, it's not really important in the first place. None of the newer poems have really been... The only good craftable form really was keyed in, which I still have on Toma. Alright then. Let's just go to Mondstadt and play some TCG. Mm -mm. <clears throat> that part's over and done with. What are the challenges like this time around? That's the question. Okay, points and one energy. Oh, okay, so it's not a. So sometimes it's just a matter of beating the challenge, sometimes it's challenge with difficulty, sometimes it's a wave challenge every two cards you play. Hmm, interesting. Two cards you play. Hmm. I wonder how. Surging Ward. Hydro Application. Some kind of. Swirling is definitely a good way to do it. No more than how many rounds? No more than four rounds. It'd be interesting to figure these out, take your best guess. Not in the initial deck, gain one on the element die. Huh. 
definitely good with some of those Melusine cards. Tea time. Eremite tea time card. That's funny. Let's stop breaking. Stage Tepital. It's a skill or equips a talent card. Unless Elemental die. Huh. Lots of cards just lying around. To get all those. Gotta think, how many letters do we have? We got... How many do I need? No Chiodi is this version too, but... I think she might be the only new character this version. Well, the only new character who gets invited this way. Yep, that's correct. Okay then. This is... Yeah, I'm probably gonna wait until... Next version really go after this. Mm -hmm. Do the heated battle mode. Let's do that right now. Get that over with. Okay. Does not seem like it's all that busy. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Two for toy, huh? Okay. Hmm, I'm just trying to think. Who's good these days? Who's one energy? Hmm. Ravia can be good. That is true. So none of these ones are all that amazingly impactful. Well, it... I think Navi is a good idea, actually. Wild Thunderburst. Hmm. Interesting. Already affected by Electro. Stolen Energy. I think... We'd have off-field options. I might go for both Aramites or something. Maybe. The fire going could be good. Let's see that. You're more than 7 HP once per round. Oh, wow. Funny razor scale. Hmm. Once each match. So they're... Oh, I actually like that, because it does reflect the battle behavior a bit better in that. There's a pretty heavy limit to only you know, get them on once, anyway. We use their summon once for fight. Hmm, I... That's not going to be all that useful. I... Hmm, that's tough. Sure. This could be alright. Beacon... Bacon. Bacon. Huh. Extended damage. Once per round. Bacon is definitely a good option here. I'm trying to think... Really want to get that fire spread for Navi, among other things. Sync Strike, Spirit Serpent's Blessing. Mm. Damage dealt, can stack no limit. There's no point in doing it all that many times. Damage, very slightly different, very slightly different. Lose one energy, create a Scorpion Blessing. Hmm. Steals more damage. Does it? Or... Well, it just doesn't lose your energy. That's a thing. Alright. Try to get some fire going or something. Maybe. Hmm. A little tough. That's. These are all interesting ideas. One must die. Let's go for this. Try to see if I can get burning up or what you're gonna do. Either way, spreading some element around will definitely help us. That burning started as quickly as we can, if at all possible. How about you stay on field? That would be great. Hmm. I think is a fun idea. Try to get some energy up in here. 
Or not. And guess who's got burning started? That's me. Oops. Okay. Let's use this to make a dendro die. This is a good idea. That's a good option. And let's do this. Good damage already dealt, too. Aramites aren't bad. The Aramites are not bad. It's for the entire team, too. Hmm. Losing energy there is... Maybe not great. Damage dealt, and... We used our dice a bit better. Got that on you. Oh, well... How much more can you manage that? Just surely the swirls are... Not all that crazy, maybe. Hmm. To figure out how I want to use these Spirits of Omen then. Got some pretty good dice, actually. Hmm. Four Dendro damage. Not bad. Switch to Sucrose. Let's get this started. Thank you. Then, we could try switching some things around, but. Or not. Oh. There's a part of me. Wants to just. Give some cards to put bacon on Navia and settle with that. Okay, cool. Thank you. Hmm, I got that back. Interesting. Damage me again, I'll get some energy. Probably want to wait for that then. Hmm, it's an idea. I think I will... Support zone and discard it. Generate two. Yeah, we're already getting energy there, so... We'll do that. And, let's see. Sataria. May as well, I suppose. Tamias. Can we get an artifact, or...? No. Okay. So just put bacon on Navia, then, and... Put Sataria down. Okay, cool. Okay, I don't imagine that'll be all that useful, but still. Cool. Fair enough. Should have. Yep. I boosted you up. Go ahead and make me stronger. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Figure out how I'll do this. Don't have a quick switch, which is unfortunate. Frankly, I feel like I might have made a mistake by not picking Sucrose. Because that would have denied Sucrose to another player. Oh well. Hmm. Just shoot her twice or something, maybe. Hmm. Four ain't bad. I'll have to switch a bit. Crystal shot. Let's get rid of you. <clears throat> and just smack you. Okay. Thank you. What you're gonna do, whatever you do next, I can just knock you out. Get ready, huh? Okay, you can't force a switch. Okay. It's good for me. Hmm, Vani Razor Scale. Uh, main thing is I can't afford to lose that card. Not very good. Just, it's simple, we kill the Sucrose. What are you gonna do? Gonna kill me? You're gonna kill me? Okay. Go ahead, kill me. Okay. Oh, but you can't use that yet. We can still get our burst off, can't we? No, that'll kill. That'll kill. Okay. Hmm, alright. That's okay. Yeah, Sucrose is just too good. I hate to admit it, but it's true. Hmm. Well, we'll figure this out then. See how much damage I can manage to deal in the meantime. Yeah, it is not expecting that much strength out of Sucrose, really. Hmm. Alright then. 
Well, I guess we can try some funny serpent stuff. Sure. How much damage I can manage. And... Oops. Straight up five. Wait. Oh, because of the damage boost. Yeah, that was rather unpleasant. Oops. Hmm. Sukos really is just that good, huh? Wow. Keep forgetting how outright broken Animo is in this game, in TCG. Animo and literally any way to force switches. Is anything that allows you to disrupt strategy? And that isn't Gene, because... Well, I mean, Gene's okay, but not really good. It's the same person, oh my goodness. That's <laughs> kind of hilarious. I... Pressurize Collapse. That's an idea. Maybe. Hmm. No one's got shields on them, so... Don't get that much out of... Crab, really. We'll see. If he picks Crab, I'll feel like an idiot. <laughs> Gonna go for the Overload, or...? No, actually. Huh. Interesting. I... Might go with this. Honestly. Really scuffed, but I'm sure. It does give us some ability to disrupt their strategy. Oh, but Pyro Lector might <laughs> be a problem. Maybe. Hmm. Burst up. Technology could be good. Maybe. This is a decent card, yeah. It's more than good enough. Really should try to get Farzan going. Maybe. One last charge attack. I... This could be good. Could get the burst ready for next round. If I play my cards right. Hmm. And we're going first. Right? Yeah. I think I went first last time and still managed to lose. Oops. Rather unpleasant. I... Play this and get pressurized collapse going. Yep, we got the one animo die we needed. Cool. Yeah, this. We're going. It's going. And yep, one less animo damage and. <laughs> got a lot of fires on. I got a readiness. Mmm, -hmm. no more. Uh. Okay. And that's that. That also means... Oh, you're gonna try to vaporize off me. That's evil. Well, we can still get the burst going, which is the big thing. That... Wait, one animal die. Wait, when it begins and... Hmm. Least damage. Another one. Okay. Goodness. That was... a bit much. Still don't have any other cards that would let me get... shields on the crab. Well then. Hmm. I... Try to get a bit more animal in here, if at all possible, and we can't. Ouch. Hmm. 
play that. That's... Mm, that could be okay. Maybe... Stand by? Sure, why not? Get rid of that and then... Play our dazzling polyhedron. Cool. So is Chongyun just on the sideline? Maybe as a nuke? I don't know. I think I will... You're gonna try to snipe me. I don't want you to do that. I really don't. Uh, so the only thing I can really do is... Go for a single normal. That's fine. One additional animo damage. Can't complain. Oh, but now we got healing. Not liking this Furina. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay. We'll see how the rest of this goes. The only thing is... Well, it's only a, an elemental shield when it's an enemy, that's right. Cool. Okay. Alright. Don't think you can really kill me all that well, but just in case... Boost our damage a bit. Sean you, and then... Some healing going. Right? Uh, hmm. Don't quite like that. But, put some of those, I suppose. Alright, and that just kills. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Oh, but you'll... That's right. Forgot to heal myself. Yep. Oops. Okay. Hmm. I... Do this. Do it like that. Then. That just kills. That just kills you. Yep. You love to see it. The LG for the end is pretty good here. Can't really deny that. Still got a couple more rounds of this. That's nice. It really is just a question of, can they knock out the crab before I manage to just fars on him to death? Go ahead. Go ahead. Lanyol is unfortunately down, but we do have the funny polyhedron at least. Hmm. Let's see what I can manage. Incredibly common Farazan dub. That's why she's the best. That does not kill. This does, in fact, kill. Alright. What are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do to me? <laughs> I think we should finish off with a burst. Feels good to just kick this guy's rear into next Sunday after all this. Oh, the bow actually deals more damage. More style in the verse, though. Goodbye! Incredibly common far as undone. It's gonna be the same guy again. It's definitely gonna be the same guy again. No, it's not. It's New Viet this time. Okay. Hmm. And of course, he already took Chevy. I. <laughs> I could do something incredibly funny, and I think I will. <laughs> Enjoy playing Chevy with no characters to overload off of. <laughs> What did you think was gonna happen? 
<laughs> You've been completely neutered. <laughs> okay. I... Best choice then is gonna be either you or you, probably. Try to get those reactions going. No, it's gonna be you, because that's off-field potential. Yeah, that Chevy is a almost completely wasted slot now. <laughs> you should not have shown your hand that quickly. Hmm. Let's reactions. Just trying to think. That, that's not that good. You only got one. I got two elemental types in the party. This is always pretty good. Generally pretty good. Heal this? Not bad. Not bad. Hmm. We'll go with these. Hmm, damage. You know? I don't hate that. Let me just think. Lightning Strike Probe. Attach the Lightning Rod. Character. I shouldn't put, him out, put you out yet, because I don't have Lightning Rod. Hmm. It's an idea. Getting Hydra on here as quickly yeah, as possible yeah. is a good idea, too. Yeah. Cards, cards, cards. I would have got the Hydra we need to play that, and wow! Could not have asked for a better starting hand. Hmm. If you are first, then you do have... We'll have Lightning Rod shortly. Oh, we could be evil. We could get an Electro Charge reaction real quick. Use your skill. You're going to accept. You're going to expect to be able to get away, aren't you? Don't think you're all that familiar with. Well, yeah, you're gonna switch out, right? I bet you will. Surging tides. One was elemental down with the technique. I. I'm not gonna be able to take any hits. So putting Corbin is brilliance is not going to do much for me right now. And the only element you'd be able to swirl is Pyro. No reactions possible either. Hmm. Yes, we could get this down. The main thing is going to be you're going to switch. Switch to Yunjin. Unfor unfortunately, Lightning Rod is on Venti. Unfortunately for you. And you don't have more dice and cards in your hand. Let's get that Lightning Rod going. What are you going to do? No, really, what are you going to do? Okay, you're going to try Gamblers? You're going to try to switch again? No. Unfortunately for you. Unfortunately for you. <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? I don't imagine you would have been. Okay. That's how you do it. Oh, maybe I could have put Kavarena on. Uh, on the manifestation, eh, whatever. I'll live. Just felt good to absolutely smack them like that. Totally contravening their expectations. Hmm. Don't have any cards with a one cost right now. That's tough. It said we do have. Sumeri City, which might help, maybe, depending on what I want to play. The other, other guys just basically given up at this point. Yeah, still do good damage. Having a switch in and out of. You is a bit annoying. Switch to Chevy. Okay. Storm zone, alright, and just a normal attack. Okay. Hmm. 
could try changing guards. That's going to negate the effect of Simeru City. Honestly, I should probably switch over here. That Bone Cruncher's energy block is decidedly meh. Put this on you and switch to you. Just get another card in here. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Go ahead, hit me with a normal. Try to charge up that hardly useful person. Wait, what? You could have, you could have used that. How'd you been, Moss Sentry? Candy VT. I'm just playing TCG right now. How are you doing? More cards are always good, and I, I guess we'll just sit on those dice. That's sad. Oh well. Hmm. And back to Yunjin. Really? Okay. Suit yourself. That is helping us get more Bone Cruncher's energy blocks, at least. Huh. This could help us try to get some Electro on field for the funny Thunder Manifestation of Target. Hmm. Try to see who gets Lightning Rod on them. It's probably going to be Yunjin. It's based on whoever attacks first. I do love Thunder Manifestations gameplay. Just as a card, it is. Especially since most people don't know how it works. The fact that it can easily hit characters who are currently off field. If that character attacked first in the round. It really helps, helps set up a reaction gameplay, because it's sort of this match. I applied Hydro to Venti. The other players switch out of Venti, and since Venti had attacked first. Huh? They expected to be able to simply... Oh, shield's a bit annoying. That was actually a pretty smart move on their part, but we'll still get this going. They expected to be able to keep Venti safe, even though Hydra had been applied to him, but I smacked Strifle Lightning and did big damage to Venti and got Electro Charge spread damage on the team. Very, very enjoyable. Let's just hit with that again. And now... Switch into Thunder yeah, yeah. Manifestation. Or we could just take... I don't want to take out Yunjin right now. That would waste that Hydro application. This would be a good idea, depending on who's getting sent in. Thundering Shackles. Then... I think that would kill because of the lightning rod on her, too. If you just stay in. Or it could alternately, if you switch out, allow Yunjin to just get taken down at the end of the round as well. Oh. Or if I kill Yunjin here, probably. Good damage whoever's there. Main thing is just that they picked Shavros. They picked their cards first. This is randomized. First player picks one card out of the available. Next player picks two... And then, first player gets picked two, and then final player takes one. It's basically a snake draft kind of thing. They picked Chevy. Chevy needs Electro on her team in addition to Pyro. Well, someone to trigger Overload. I picked both Electro characters just to make sure that she couldn't trigger Overload. And it was really, really dirty as a tactic, but... I'll be darned if it didn't work well. Okay... Put that on you, just to make the most out of all the cards we got. Chitubby is... we're not gonna need... well, it's the artifacts we won't really need anymore. So we can make use of Samara City. Oh, that's right, now that's one. I... no one's gonna get hit. Maybe I'll just switch after this. Whoever you put in... Whoever you put in, Venti's dead dead. Yeah, this is an absolutely... Destroyed team. Yeah, it's yeah. just... I took all the Electro, so Chevros was useless. And then they just had to figure out two other characters just to take up space. It... <laughs> absolutely nothing could have even been done there by them. Okay. No way to really boost the damage, so Chevros will be left with 1 HP probably. That'll be alright. We'll just... Use a burst, kill Venti with the Electro Charge, and take down Chevros in some disrespectful manner, I suppose. Okay. 
Could use this if I felt like it to just get the burst off for cheaper. Hmm. I guess you could switch to Venti. It would not do you any good. I honestly feel kind of bad about this fight. First fight I did was... Oh, interesting. What was that talent card again? Applying... TCG Thunder Manifestation. Grieving Lightning. Uh, grieving Echo. When Lightning Rod attached take damage, you draw one card once per round. That's a good one. Could have been nice to get earlier. Equip that, and now we can... Oh, we have that already, just because we have ten cards in our hand. That's funny. Okay, cool. Chevy is not dead, but you can't do much. Go ahead, use your burst. It won't even kill me. Yet when I switch, I'm not gonna switch. Or I could, just to be really, really disrespectful. Sure, why not? Flow uselessly. Scorpion didn't even come out. Scorpion hasn't even taken damage. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize, especially since Crab doesn't deal power out in normal attacks. Didn't know this stole the Electro, too. Okay. Goodbye. That just... I feel like they had to have known that that fight was over from turn one. <laughs> There was just absolutely no synergy whatsoever on that team. That's just... that's just sad. Okay. Now oh, we can get... Dynamic Skins, Funnel 1, Four Ring Dancer, who I don't have yet, but... And it's... Not that many more... skins. Yeah. What does Stage Tepet do, anyway? So there really aren't that many more skins remaining. Uh, I've reached the point where I probably could just catch up by doing all of the hard mode matches, but eh, whatever. Stage tip it all. One attention point. Not in the initial deck, so... Really encouraging using... Melusine cards and other cards that just get you other cards. Hmm. A random basic elemental die. Opponent plays a card, so basically... You get that for free, more or less, if you're playing against an opponent who doesn't play cards. Okay. Well, I suppose... Just want to invite Chiori. Then it's Aramite for a ring dancer and Abyss Lector's Electric Surge. Yes, it could be a matter of basically plop Chiori down to do off field DPS and do some kind of quick and garbage with this. That's not unreasonable. It's a good enough reaction. Okay. Next version, apparently, they're buffing in the main game. Most non-dendro damaging reactions. Just to... Well, to make Chaska better, among other things. Kind of like how all reactions got buffed. Well, EM's effect on damage killing got pretty seriously buffed when Kaza came out, so Kaza would be good. It's been a while since that kind of buff happened. Last example, to which changed something already existed, was honestly changing Hydro, res Hydro Resonance to be HP based instead of healing bonus based when Samari dropped, which made Huto teams a good deal better. Down the rules, so let's try playing game right down the rules. Some still massive geo damage combinations. Action cards support depending on current state. Oh, but let me see. 
summon autonomously. Tranquilly taking 10. What additional? Lots of tomatoes. Hmm. Okay. Make this happen. Hi. Sure, I've got time. What is she, Lightning McQueen? Okay. Don't have any cards that aren't at maximum proficiency, actually, so... This is as good a deck as any to use. Honestly, I think I'll keep it a depth system temptation. Hmm. <laughs> See what dice we get? This? That's a pretty good starting hand. And... Hmm. <laughs> Might have to do some switcheroos. Get that going. We can... Hmm... Maybe not. I don't know. Not expecting you to go Altaramaru on me. Alright. Hmm... Should change a lot of these around, probably. Uh, bet on you. What am I? Honestly, I might have to part with this. Maybe, yeah. Should still be fine. Any other characters use a skill? Hmm. Definitely sub DPS focused, but. Right. First thing is going to be. Smack him. He is once per round. Hmm. She just used two tomatoes. Got a lot of geodice. I like that would be good for someone other than me. Right? Get a snipe off. That'd be nice. Yoko. And summon, but right. She did use her talent card. Okay. Gonna smack me or what? I don't think that. Oh. The AI is going to be that ruthless. If you switch out, we can. Yep, we can snipe you down. That will be the end of Chiori. Cool, and. Nine damage! Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit much. Physical damage up by Chiodi, converted. I'll say now a trick or two. The unpredictability is the weakness, right? Okay. Keep some of this up. Another conversion right there. Cool. Go ahead. Hmm. <clears throat> In that case, see how much damage I can get out of just Tianari being himself. Good damage. Guess I could toss a bomb down, maybe. Mm hmm. Sierra City could be a fun idea, but meh. Bomb will kill. Alright. Got that down. And if I wanted to, I could put down some air city and kill the burst one mess. Yeah, there's not much you can do. Except that... Wouldn't have enough cards. Okay, cool. I'll go first, just so that our turret hits before her turret. That did nothing for you. Alright, that... Maybe not flawless, but... Pretty darn good. Got Shiori and her cards. Nice. Okay. Lost Fair and Square, you're pretty good at this. It's my loss. We got the tavern card challenges, weekly matches, and then 
are the real challenges. I think... Thunderous Ward, slightest amount of electric can cause a cat's fruit to stand on end. Never mind the amount of electric and lots of power needed to battle. Hmm. Okay. Or is defeated. So you can use this up to twice. Doesn't give you the shield back or anything. The selector is lightning evading cat, little rose. I... You know, this is a dendro team. This would still work. A relatively single target focus. We can do this. I think this will work. Depends maybe on starting deck, but yeah, not bad. Hmm. You're not immune to Electro, so turret's still a good option. I okay. Huh. Yeah, that was again about as well as it could have gone. Throw this on. You Except, hmm. Yeah. Then we'll put our turret down. Switch out and get that off for basically free. Cool. Now you'll switch. Den of Thunder, Shock of the Enigmatic Abyss. Drains energy. Hmm. Okay. Bombs on. Yeah, the cluster boom arrows are going to be a good option. A well, hyphen would be good here too, but wouldn't say it's necessary. Mm -mm. Figure this out. All right then. But you're probably going to drain a bit from me. Is the thing. Mm -mm. So like, oh, that's not great. Okay. That will do some of it. Question is what you'll do. Hmm, that one defeat. So gamblers would not help as much there. Well, could just try getting it in. Yeah, yeah, we got energy drained. Well, me too. So that won't deal damage. Thunderous Ward. Yeah, immune to all damage, right? Okay. So I guess we might as well get Gamblers so we can deal Dendro damage and boost the Cluster Boom a bit. That's fine. All about taking you out. Cool. Probably drain a bit more energy. Yeah. Okay. That won't do anything. That's sad. Oh well. Well, the arrows are doing well. Okay, but you didn't use... Right, it's only the three... Three damage one that deals that damage. Okay. Starting to lose control. Just gonna stay on here, dendroing. That's fair enough. Three and... Ooh. Hard to say. Just to keep him alive, I suppose. Sure. Well, that... It's actually just fine, right? I don't have to point anything again because it wasn't even a charge attack, right? Thank you. Well, Thunderburst into more than one. Let's do damage, but. Still damage. Hmm. Well, that's a reaction. And this is going to be more than fine enough. Okay, cool. Bad start for you, I. Disagree. You're going to be dead very quickly next round. Alright. Alright. Oh, I- Oh, right. About that. 
Another way we can do this with only TNT going down. It's still a bit more difficult than I expected. Alhaitham would have done even better because of the way his app works. Okay. Shink in my armor. All we gotta do is just hit with one dendro attack to break the shield. Before it just kills me. Otherwise, it would be able to... Wow. Right, because it's got its shield up. Okay. Goodbye. It's not going to immediately take damage, so I guess we could... Let's hit. It's a normal attack. Yep, yeah, that'll still take it down. We can just kill it early for fun games. Okay, cool. Not bad at all. Okay. Next up then. Another challenge. Against the ring dancer. I wonder what a good day way to take a U down is gonna be for ring dancer's improvisation. No, beneath the abyssal depths. You know, even the slightest amount of electro can cause a cat's fur to stand on end. Never mind the amount of electro amount of powder needed to battle. Magic surge, jolting thunder. Four wing dancers improvisation. Four wing dancers little guess. Meow. Yeah, my impression is that most cats don't really like snakes, especially giant weird ones that can fly. I still a good team for just taking enemies down quickly. Either win or lose quickly. Okay. Hmm. Probably have to go for... We'll go for that Samaru City then. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more Electro and... Yep! Very, very nice. They've been good for me. Good to me. Didn't have to deal with elemental shields, it's just... Kill him. Serpent's Blessing... Plus one does not consume usages. Hmm, okay. Samaru City in. Then we can toss our silly bomb down. But there are no elements for them to react with, so the Dendrap is not making a difference in any way, shape, or form. Yep, and then we can figure out some really scuffed team with Chori, the Lecter, and the Aramite just to get all there. Proficiency is up as quickly as possible. Cool. I wonder how. Cowboys and then charge attack, sure. Should be good. Cowboys, charge attack. Nice damage. Okay. Now you're using your burst. Mm. Was kind of a waste. Just a little. Uh, okay. Now. That automatically attach it, or. I guess. Seems one of them. Maybe. One would get equipped. Well, we're, we're chilling. We're okay. Ooh, hmm. Maybe I don't like that. Well, if I get the Ito card, I'll be good. Maybe the goal is get another charge attack off. Should have saved it, but whatever. Cool. We'll sack me. I guess I'll put down Chef Mao. Cool. You will kill. That'll be okay. Oh, a normal. Normal would kill too. Just a Yai normal. We did get the Uto card, which is very, very nice. But it's always more stylish to finish with the burst. Thank you. 
Oh, an animation. Oh, but it automatically equips that when they... Okay. Interesting. Yep, that'd do it. But, more fun this way. Come on. There we go. So we've gotten the new cards. That's fun. Sean Yoon. Yeah, time to make a new old deck. That's chillin'. Hmm. Genie. Vacation TCG. Things to do right now. Yep. Okay. These challenges will be a bit interesting. Let's make a new deck. That one does not need to exist anymore. Just need a Chiori. Chori. Ring Dancer. Lector. Okay. And. Always good. Most of the artifacts I've gotten here are ones that are just always good. I mean, cards I've gotten here are ones that are just general purpose. That. Interesting, once each round. Yeah, not bad. Could be good. There we go. Okay. What else? Don't think Chiori would really need a sword. Probably not. What else here? Hmm. Cards that are just generally good. Honestly, I like Adept as Temptation more than I should. I'm playing with food. Honestly, we could get with Chef Mao. Usually a pretty decent option. Me when Zhongling's dad. Yeah, it's pretty much just the food well, and the talent cards. But I don't have maxed out right now. Okay. Hmm. It's an option. These are all alright. Kyoku and very standard. Hmm. Go ahead, give me Geo. Uh, yeah, we, we got Geo. Some of it. I... So what kind of Tomato we get. And Bombastic Side Eye. Less Elements Die. She knife wielding. I... Go for this one. Okay. Then we can immediately just toss a burst out for fun. Because why not? Okay. And yeah, we got our special animation. That's good damage already gone, but by the time you get back and use your burst, that should be gone. I hope. Alright. It's a fun way to start things off. Though I would like that talent card. Honestly, maybe Storm Terror's Lair might have been a good addition to the deck. Maybe. Right, and Electro and Danger are what I want, and wow, good. Very nice. Hmm. Suppose. 
switch in. Possibly. It won't crystallize this way, but... I may actually prefer that. Alright. Thank you. Spirit of Omen. Right, right, because when they're enemies, it's always just adding them in, right? But I... If I really felt like it, I could just use the burst. Uh, no, no. Uh, I can attach that. I can. Hmm. Not using that many normals. Sure, use it. Cool. Thank you. It is interesting that she can get the extra energy multiple times per round, especially given that... Well, I mean, she can get the energy boost multiple times per match. Probably because it doesn't give you a boost. It only gives you that card once. I... okay. We'll take the Dendro. That's alright. Get more blessing stacks in. That's fine. Hmm. Stack of blessing. Then I guess we'll just be boosting. That's fine. Oh goodness. Wow. I feel like I should keep her off field then, just to make sure she doesn't just doesn't die. Keep that burst as a nuke, just as a possibility. Okay, here you are. Use this a couple times. It's not consume usages. So you want to keep that up so you don't end up wasting it. Well, hmm. Yeah, that got kind of wasted. Oh well. And you... Oh! Okay. Ouch. Do you get a bit of a boost, though? Hmm. More damage now. Ugh. Not great. Someone needs healing. And that is my Lector. Okay. Alright, then. Alright. Hmm. Technique's good. Insufficient. Oh, it costs energy. Wait. Wait. Not consume usages. I didn't even notice. Cause... Yeah, it doesn't mention that. It's costing energy in there. That's very, very interesting. Wow. Okay. Yeah. To be fair, he also wants sort of a mono team. Which is interesting. Hmm. Could use that, and but it's crackling with Electro, interestingly. Hmm. Okay. That will kill. Huh. It's probably going to kill us too, though. Hmm. Well, you know, no time like the present. That, honestly... If we're going to die anyway, we may as well use fewer dies. If that's going to... Yeah. That's all. And no energy to take, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay. Let's put this on you. Sure. Get an automaton doll. It's a skill. Huh. Not bad. Once twice per round. Honestly, we could just put more dolls down and start smacking with. But it's just normal, right? And. Oh, that's still gonna kill us. Yeah. Wow. Mm, yeah. Really don't want 
quicken with that Lector, given that its whole deal is preventing bursts from being used. Hmm. Screw it. You're gone at least. Okay. Go ahead, use your burst. Can't be done. We're just going to take you out. Goodbye. Okay. I think we can manage this. Definitely a bit more narrow than I would have liked. Stone Drake. And that just got me my burst back. So honestly, it's just a burst spammer for the damage of it. That's not nothing. It's just still in here like an absolute cockroach and hit whenever you get the chance. Okay. There we go. Goodbye. That was a much more challenging fight than I expected, but given the anti-synergy of most of these characters... Hmm. Lavender Melon. Alright. Uh, wonder what I'll use for challenges, honestly. Not bad. Hmm. That could be used for quickens. Could be. I we should probably stick with the chili, but all oh, these are good. But yeah, Chiodi really wants that talent card. I should probably try to get Storm Terror's Lair in here eventually. Next match onward. Everyone got that going. Hmm. Cool. Use this. Alright. Nice. Got a normal one and. Hmm. Once per round. Normal attack. This is the best option. By far. Mm-hmm. To two. Honestly, I think... Gonna wait, because otherwise this is gonna get wasted. Alright. Basically, whoever gets there. Skill up, I just... <sighs> chill with it. Let them deal damage until they die. Especially since there's no survival requirement for... You. That said, we'll take Chori off until next round. After using her burst to avoid wasting summon uses, I would put Elector in. It's not a bad idea. Or somebody. Got a lot of options actually, and that just that's just gone. Nice. Your Chori and Automaton tells you more damage, but. You're just gone. Goodbye. Good stuff. Okay, I... This card spiraling whirl. So we'll go for this. And thank you. Switch to oh, the Spirit Serpent. Well... Let's go use this. No mono, but I'll live. That means... Well, you'll try to hit me, but... Let's see if that will allow me to take him out. But actually, right, that... That Chiodi's... Those dolls are just gonna kill. Wow. Going pretty fast, wow. Hmm... Shorty's talent card is so important to her kit. I honestly should just 
Good Storm Terror's Lair in the deck. That will deplete your energy. Very nice. God damage, you'll kill, or at least try to kill. There we go. Oh, we got to see some abyss letters in that animation, which is not how that normally works, I'm pretty sure. And we can just kill there. Oh. And electric rebirth and oh right, because we got Dendro. I go with normal another smack. Shock of the Enigmatic Abyss. I do like having a card with Nakata Joji. It's the voice for it. Cool. Let's just see how many more skins we can pick up after those matches. Cool, cool. More experience books. For Chaska and for Ororone, I need Cinder City and Obsidian sets, and I also need... Gotta level their sets, but I have a lot of artifact juices. That shouldn't be the real issue. But I do need tools for talents, need to fight the bosses. Hmm. That is a really good amount, yeah. Just want to see how much would I be able to level up just a random sitting piece. It's tossing all of these into one set. That. This could fully level up one set. But not multiple. Also, it's just... These obsidian pieces are not... up to snuff. Okay. Ororone. Any Cinder City will do, as long as he can get his burst up, really. He does deal decent enough personal damage that's worth considering, but... No, we're not using normals at all with this deck, really. At least not if I can help it. That, honestly, Favonius Library got cheaper to the point where it's probably worth using. I... Let's actually get rid of this one, then. It's an idea. Put in Library. It should be a fun option. Okay, Let's see how this goes. Hmm. I hope for something a bit different. I wonder who would be best to put in then. Danger application, well, obvious then. Well, that'll get burning up, and I don't necessarily like that. Hmm, well, okay. Physical and Geo. Put this up after then. Let's play that now. Should I get as much Electro as we can? At least more Electro. That's enough. Okay. Hmm. The interest of no waste. <laughs> That damage was rather unpleasant. Tenchikaku and Vanarana. Good set of cards that line. Okay. Hmm. Electro Watcher is probably very, very dead. That's fine. But again, weekly matches are not that important. Okay. Think, yeah. Not much a way for me to avoid death here. Oh well. Can at least get another good hit in. Sure. 
I put that on you. Durability is nice there. There we go. I got her quicken back up. Just to make Dendro Aramite better. Alright. That's not bad, I suppose. Maybe. Now you're gone. Right through the shoot. Okay. That part is not going away. Yeah. Since the burning is there, the burning is not going to disappear. To two. Mm. This will just heal. Nothing I really want to use, or nothing I'd really want to switch for. Actually, as annoying as. Ooh, okay. Ouch. Oh, alright. Did give her her burst. Hmm. And healing. If you can get there and stay there, it is quite nice. I. Let's just see. Feels as if putting down a Tomato could be a good idea. Hmm. One Tomato. Tomato? Yeah, that's decent enough. Can't do enough conversion to use more Tomatoes, though. Hmm. All right, go ahead. I'll just hit you. Go on. Guess I could try doing some conversion to get another hit down. Back. This one dendro damage. Got a good amount of blessing. Or that would kill. Yeah, sure, why not. In the interest of finishing things just a little faster. Okay. But, also in the interest of avoiding getting overloaded, that might actually mean death, death. Yeah. Okay. We can take you out, we can win. The burst spam capabilities of Dendro Aramite. Presumably Pyro Aramite too. Really impressive. Okay. If you're gonna kill me, kill me. Yep. Okay. I kinda wish. Even Zhao and Fremine, even without their dynamic skins, changed out their mask or helmet on when they use burst. Wish they could always really show that. There wasn't any fire left on the axe. Goodbye. Ah. There you have it. Ah. Still a skill difference. There's still a skill difference. Alright. I'm giving you the shrewdness, but with many cards, about so many men, we shuffle and sort our decks from them as an idea. Some mechanical desks might be constructed into which cards may be inserted once the game is over, and she'll do both in our stead. Ah, auto shuffler. It's quite fascinating indeed. Perhaps a few rounds are in order. Centers around her burst. That. I guess we could just try draining her burst, but. Tomoto! This is gonna be nice. Let's get that Tomoto down. Shouldn't be too complicated either way. Ford would be a little silly with it. Put this down. I... Uh, okay. As we can get Tomoto out, we're good. And... This is usually the best one. Just boost the damage of both. Yeah. Pretty reasonable. Ooh. 
Let's heal you then. You can use Dendro Aramite's talent. Anato mo isho ni odoritai no? Do you want to dance with me? Come on. There we are. Geo will not interfere with the Dendro. Better or worse, and they wasted some dice. Fine by me. And we could just use another ring to just take you out. Depending on how much damage she deals to me, maybe the burst actually. Don't need geodice right now. Okay. That's good. That's more than good enough. Hmm, not quite. Okay. That will kill. Goodbye, Shadow. Huh? What are you gonna do? And. Let me see. Didn't even mention this, actually, so I wonder if it wasn't triggered or if it was just invisible. Mm hmm. Well. Let's just hit you. Cannot use your burst right now. Well. Oh, okay. Huh. Cool. Probably heal up. It might. Hmm. Yeah, this will be more efficient in the end, anyway. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hmm. If I. Gonna switch to Shan Yun. Could try using. Shan Yun uses her burst. She'll be out of energy and therefore will be able to deal more damage with Electro Vector. I could use Mona if I wanted to. Maybe. Nah, use that. Okay. That will kill. Mm. Maybe I should. Switch to Chiori, just put those back down. That's already the end of your round. Okay. You kill me, you kill me. Here we are. And... Four out of five. Summon from three, but one of four. Which is nice. It's not as random. Okay. We got everyone's burst ready. It's a matter of how we want to do this. Hmm. Who are you going to kill? If anyone. I imagine that Shorty Burst will just outright kill if I use a Death's Temptation. So I think that's what I'll do then. Okay. All right. At five, boost that to six. With Tomoto, pull yourself just a little. That's six, with because of the boost. Just have a bit more, so. Nine damage straight. Goodbye. <laughs> Pretty nice victory. It really is just about getting that Chiori skill down. After such utter defeat, one must now rely on mechanisms to assist next time to play. Having enough time is but a jest. There's no feckless insertion. Would be funny. So you're trying to cheat with a trading card game robot. Let's just boost these up. Cool. First, that's not even good, though, right? I don't think. And we can get tip at all. Especially since it will be part of one of the minigame challenges. And yeah, it's. 
food, residences, events. It is interesting that these are all some kind of category, but don't really have a name in the same way. Got all of these are arcane legends. They're my tea time. What does that do again? Well, whatever. It's just not that many more cards left. Eh? That skin's for it. It's interesting. Multiple characters of the same elemental type, same type of weapon, same faction. You need a weapon to do that. One item card from three, one location card from three. Characters of the same faction. Hmm. And food card. Huh. So I wonder what the best way to make use of that would be. Vexing Field of Lightning. Lose one energy. Apply to all your characters. Each, every energy, one energy short of maximum heal the electors for one HP. Wow. Every two cards you play. Hmm. You don't have a lot of HP, but... It's a matter of killing them and then... Huh. I'd say maybe Kaza, except... Hmm. That's tough. Every two cards you play, so card draw is the idea. Not the initial deck. Deceived by the Whopper Flower. Deceived. They choose the Whopper Flower's disguise. Three random cards. Oh, wow. Here's headbutt, scorching leaves, a roasted nectar burst. Sedimentation will not be frozen. Two damage does not exceed five. At least six. Get Hydro Phantasm. Pull life form Electro. N not in the initial deck. Was in the initial deck. Heal the opposing active character for one HP. Hmm. It's all rather frightening. Tea time. One Aramite tea time card. Which card you played this round, the amount of healing is reduced by one. Hmm. I might want to come back and take a do this after an expiration break. One technique card equipped, and their offense will be stronger. Skill or talent card each round. Spend one less elemental die. Stage tepetal. One technique card equipped. They won't play cards. One stage tepetal. Hmm. I think... I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna think on it for a bit. Hmm. Question is, if I'm gonna do a bit of exploration, this place to start. There are a few more quests I still need to do. Let's get a few quests done. Put all the llamas back. Well, they're alpacas, but who's counting? You. Okay. Right, mushroom. Actually didn't move her. Surprising. Sedia. Oh, well. Guess this would be the hide-and-seek. Probably. Yep. Tip it with source hide-and-speak. 
Go looking for a missing sword and companion. After running into a whole bunch of tepidless swords when you're out on the road. Which sword and companion go off to play with that, but then it doesn't come back. How sad. Alright then. Get another one of the amber cores along the way, I suppose. Sure. Oh well. Another little tippet with Saurus. Is there any chance you've seen? Helen tells the clever little tippet with Saur what Theodorx looks like. Roar. Roar. In a minute, does that mean you, you know, we're working for Theodorx? Really are clever, clever little critter, huh? Come on, let's catch up. Or. You're gonna try to deceive us to not. Betray your friend, or another one of those. Dig, and it's just berries. So many berries, thanks, but a second, we're looking for Theodore, it's not berries, rawr. Maybe we appreciate it, we're not the top to say no to berries, rawr. Being given berries is never a bad thing, but it seems like Theodore isn't here, let's keep looking. Hmm. Bet it's... Can knock it up if you... Can you? Can you? Maybe not. Dopey little tepid with Saurus. I haven't seen Theodorx around here, have you? You know, new kid on the block. It's got a mark on its head and a scarf on its tail. Roar. It seems like it can't understand what we're saying, so we have no other choice but to go through them one by one. Actually, there is a Teposaur nearby. We can communicate. Hi, we will tap it with Saurus. Hello there, how do you do? Oh, wait a second, this Palmon started suddenly started agreeing with the tap it with Saurus like this. Roar, roar, why, Palmon, you're so polite. Yeah, thanks. But back to the matter at hand. This little tepid with Sorcoli isn't Theodorix. Let's just hope that Theodorix has been having as much fun as this little one. Oh, caught you. Big parenty tepid with Saurus. Hmm, clearly have to merge and then talk. And this is. not Theodorix. Alright, looks like we've got a little tepid with Saurus digging down underground. This has to be. Old Tepit with Saurus learning how to dig, question mark, and it's not Theodorx either. So how are there so many old Tepit with Saurus? Where in Tibet did Theodorx go? Hmm. I imagine that we have to make use of the ability to talk with Saurians in Saurian form. True climbing old Tepit with Saurus. Take a look at this little Tepit with Saurus. This one sure knows how to choose a spot for itself. That they can't be Theodorx either. There's no tail scarf or arm. Hmm. Okay, and hey, where could it be? What's that? Seems to be some movement over there. Well, since we talked to them all, let's go take a look. And... Yeah, let's take you out. Oh well. Come on. And... Cool. One... Two... Three... Bye! Here we are! Nice. Let's go in spirits, guns. Guess we can break those just for fun. And just to see what you're gonna say to me. Happy, happy, me so happy. Grain fruit, yummy, burp. Oh no, been caught, must dig faster. Bearing more. Let's eat, friend. Berry, cocoa, bottle, grain fruit. That's cute. Oh, well. Yeah, so much energy. Very good. But how many were there in total again? Goodness. And from stand here, all other sore and small as a bug. Cute. Hi. Dorix. Out of the sconce. Ah, so you've been here snoozing way. No more. We couldn't find you all this time. Whoa. Looks like you had so much fun, you completely tired yourself out. The world's a dangerous place, and if you start feeling sleepy or need a rest, you've got to come find us first. So we to be careful, it's said not to be gone too long. Roar. Right, all right, nothing wrong with a bit of fun every now and again, but be more careful in the future, okay? You know, why don't we get so high to the big tepless source over there? Who knows, we might get another chance to hang out with this lot someplace else in the future. Roar. Say bye to the big tepless source. Same dog as before. NPC Saurians. Oh well. Cutscene again. Roar? 
Thanks for taking care of Theodorx all this time. Roar. Roar. Oh, well, whatever they said just went right over Palmon's head. Anyway, it's about time we're up. Say goodbye, Theodorx. Roar. To be sad, we'll see them again. Roar, roar. 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 Roar, roar. Roar. Big tablet source turns around as if to signal that it was time they were off. The tablet source found its lead, and together they leave. Roar. Well, you're not feeling lonely, are you, Theodorix? And don't forget that we're here by your side. Roar, roar. Okay. That's one of them. A few more quests we can try looking for. Over here. Yesterday I went and grew that plant. It should be all fixed up now. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> ah, the seed from yesterday it should be over here. All right then. Not interested in fighting Sappho at the moment. Okay. Thank you. Look how the icon changes when you're leaving. Stay for Shulin at least. Icon for the stop as well. Oh, and we got some Embercore flowers around here. That's fun. Could use a couple. I did not mean to do that. Now we're here. Well, what a pretty flower. Why does that look familiar? Is that the seed Theodorix planted? Well, that was a seed we infused with Fulkissen back then. Palmon didn't realize it was an Embercore flower seed. No wonder it didn't sprout before. There simply wasn't enough Fulkissen in it. Roar, see Theodorix. So the flower you planted, the seed didn't die. If anything, it's blooming super nicely. I'm surprised it wasn't a Whopper flower. Stop being so hung up about that. Roar, roar. Hey, you're real happy, huh, Theodorix? Now you better make sure to become a big, strong, awesome Saurian. It's like the sea became a flower, all right? And a new hope. Star Wars. Like a sprouting seed. And we can get a couple, which is nice. Get a special ember core flower. No, it's not special. It's just an ember core flower. Got a few more, though. Well, I I took a break from TCG before the challenge missions because they looked rather intimidating and I wanted to have some time to just think about them first because they were... I needed to think a bit harder about what kind of deck I needed to make. I'm doing a few quests first just to... Oh, what's up, Theodorx? I'm gonna go hang out on the beach. Oh, let's go check it out, then. That's not true. That's not true at all. I'm not going to lie to you. Shell Water Beach looks great. It's warm, bright, and there are fishing rods set up here. Maybe this would make a good fishing spot. Why don't we try fishing here? Maybe I'll catch myself another travel guide. Another Paimon. Don't set yourself up for disappointment like that. No way Palmon vetoes that idea, but since there's only one Paimon, and you already caught her. Palmon's talking about fish fishing. It's been a while since the last eight fish you caught and cooked yourself. Apparently next patch, they're finally adding fishing to that one. What's well, about time to give Theodorx a taste of her culinary wizardry? Roar. It's all for poor old Theodorx. You know, then why don't you get involved too, Paimon? How about you do the fishing this time, Paimon? How do you want Paimon to do the fishing? Roar, roar, all for poor old Theodorx, eh? How could he... Well, we don't know yet. We don't know about that yet. We don't have all the details. We just know that next patch is adding fishing, including to areas already added. How could you catch Palmon out with her own words like that? All right then, but be warned, Palmon has no idea what she'll catch of anything. Plus, before that, this thing where Palmon needs a nice, tidy environment to put her magic in. What if the line gets snagged? Not that junk floating around in the water. Let's tidy up the area a bit first. These wooden planks and wooden crates are in the way. Break them quietly, though. Don't scare the fish away. Hmm. What did you eat? And just break these with Milani. Whew. Well, who would have thought there'd be a slime in here, too? 
Easy enough to take down. Do you think it'll crack? Oh, we have to dismantle that actively. When that took us out of skill state, a few nice and tidy ones. Gets the tougher pump and get started with the fishing. So we can see pump is going to catch a big one. Sound like the surface stays as still as a mirror without a ripple in sight. Unless there's something wrong with the water here, the fish don't seem to want to come out at all. Because close, huh? Won't be long to trust me to stay cool. Probably right. After all, once the bites start coming, it all happens so fast. When you go to pick a sweet flower, but it turns out to be a whopper flower. I keep mentioning whopper flowers today. There's even a Whopper Flower card. I gotta fight in one of the challenges. All you gotta do is stay focused and wait and wait. Roar. Got it. You got it. Stop being such a distraction. Jeez. We gotta bite. We gotta bite. Time to reload and see what Pommon's caught. It's not a fish. It's a bottle. And it's even tied to one of the wooden planks at the fishing spot. Well, the fact that you always catch strange things too makes Pommon feel a little better. Traveler, you seem to be able to catch anything but fish. Catch weird stuff all the time too. Anyway, seeing as Pommon already caught it, we might as well take a look at what's inside. Note in a drift bottle. There are pieces of paper scattered in the bottle. They seem to be messages between two people, one responding to the other. The person's handwriting is sloppy, and the other script is composed. Sloppy handwriting, my dear friend. You know who in my household is being really strict. So I'll leave the fishing gear with you for now. It's time to go fishing. Let's set up a time. I don't make things to sneak out. Remember, do not come to the door and ask for me. Goes handwriting. Message received. Sloppy handwriting. Tomorrow morning, the usual spot. I've already set out the bait. Composed handwriting. Message received. Sloppy handwriting. Dear friend, forgive me, I'm getting a bit old and my vision's getting dim. Yesterday I even forgot the way home and had to have someone ask you to come to the Golden Dust to pick me up. After all, I can't let anyone... Beef... Fancy burrito, huh? Golden Dust to pick me up. After all, I can't let anyone my family know about his fishing. Most people are so silly, composed handwriting. So I really forgot the way. It wasn't just that you just wanted to show me the giant fish you caught, right? Composed handwriting. We really forgot the way, right? The rest of the papers are soaked or completely illegible. Could have been these two that left behind that pile of stuff we're just now. People who are this obsessed with fishing are pretty scary, huh? It's like they're using this bottle, the past messages to one another, we'd better throw it back. Every pump has a funny feeling, there'll definitely be a fish next time. The rod slightly drifts downward and starts being violently tugged. Seems like something big and heavy deep down below is taking the bait. But at last, must be one heck of a fish. I'll become a big lump. That's right, you big lump. I'll become probably like a holosaurus. Roar! Seeing Paimon struggling, you and Theodore extract hold of her. Why is being pulled with such unstoppable force? It's been at least a decade since I last ate a corn dog. Finally, with a mighty plop, the fish escapes. <clears throat> Sobs, that must have been a huge one, otherwise it would have never gotten away. It's this tiny thing, right? So knowing how it's still swimming near the surface, seriously? Roar. No, this sea's too dangerous and I'll have to catch up with it anyway. Roar. We well, could find a way to catch that fish, Traveler. Swimming? Catch the fleeing fish over there, over there. Don't let it go get away. I guess that's one strong fish. How it's still able to swim so fast even after such a long struggle. Roar. Where's Trout will definitely be able to catch it again. That. Feeling like fish today. Wouldn't it be great if you catch some fish for a soaring buddy? Ace Angor Paimon, you're up. We talked to Theodore's like this. No, we can't. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead, get your Harry Potter tattoo. Be as cringe as you like. Oh, almost caught up? We were so close. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's bring this fish back, shall we? No quest item for it. Interesting. And the fish back to shore. So, what did Pamon tell you? If anyone could get the better of this slippery customer, would be the travel. We're speaking of skills. We just threw in all the bait and let the fish get so full that they turned over and floated up to the surface. It's still kind of fishing, right? Roar, roar. You think so too, don't you, Theodorix? Pop can tell just from the way your eyes are twinkling. Let's give it a try next time. Roar. Sec, it's not done yet. We have to wait for Traveler to finish cooking it first. As the fish is finished grilling, everyone sits down and eats their fill. Once I start streaming on YouTube too, I think I'll have to turn the chat filters back on. You're gonna have to stop swearing. Roar. Oh, even his grilled fish goes. That was something special. You can really tell that Pom was the one who caught it here. Great job, Tuamon. You're in charge of fishing from here on out. Oh, sigh. Rawr. There's no such thing as a free one. You know, Theodoric, so I'll have to help out too next time. If you want any fish, that is. Rawr. <clears throat> Wookie's playing dumb now. That was cute, and thanks for all the fish. Good! Feel free. This is a reference to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. A book series where at the end, all the dolphins leave for space. And they say goodbye and thanks for all the fish. Thank you for your hospitality. 
There are a couple more quests around. I wanted to read it when I was younger. And my dad wouldn't let me because he thought it was age inappropriate. And so I just never got around to doing it. Okay. Something about a crafting bench. Come on. This should be a quest related to a crafting bench somewhere around here. Hmm. Just looking. Not here. You should stop caring so much about what other people think about you. It's not even what other people think about you, just what other people think in general. You're letting them control your life. Okay. Somewhere in here is a quest regarding that crafting bench. Okay. Not here. Just keep walking around before I try to... Look it up. Want to be as... Oh, right! Satoy just randomly shows up sometimes. You okay? Da da da. Yeah, sometimes she just randomly shows up. It might be a one-time thing after the quest. Okay. It'd be funny if we could take her food. Zalcon Street Bites. What do you recommend? Chocolatl's available now. That's fun. Okay. Chocolatl. Okay. What if someone just stole your food instead? What would you do then? This one does not open. I wonder if it'll ever open. Hmm. There's supposed to be some quest. Way to do a crafting bench. Hmm. Hmm. And then what did you do? Did you cry with him? Hmm. Okay. Let me just see. I think around here should be... I think there's a spot with a quest around here. Ah. Is there any food that you would be unwilling to part with? Oh. Like one of those funny sort of move the cars around games. Fair. Down here there is a guy being accosted by Saurians. Interesting. That's another quest, I believe. My dear, your enthusiasm is quite overwhelming. Few shall have some ice decor heads and talk about this later. Oh. <clears throat> Shrar. You hear a scream at first, followed by the thought of something heavy falling to the ground, then all that stuff for Saurian cries. If she was bigger than you, I don't think it would have hurt her. Oh, is that person alright? Are you surrounded? We can't see what's going on at all. Should we try a view from above? Grar. Seems like Theodorx wants to give it a try. Go on then, little buddy. Grar. Ambercore flower seems relevant to what's going on here. Why is he being attacked? Oh, something's not right. Is that person dead? I don't know. Pish posh. Maybe just passed out, but so we can't just stand by and do nothing. Do you three please let us through? Probably not. Shrar Grar. You're not that bony. Roar. Time for a fight. Roar. Well, they won't let us through there at all. What's going on? Considering what that person said before, you might know if he's soaring, if only you had more clues. Roar, go to his camp. If you discovered some Theodorix, come on, let's keep up. Okay. Soaring leather lovers ordinary days. Find a way to distract the soaring together with your soaring companion. We encounter something surrounded by three swords out in the wild and sour sauce kipper. Hmm. Can I get closer due to sorry and obstruction? Right over there. Scrabble. 
Well, I think the situation would have justified it, Rar. Someone's diary, as this can't be stated. Maybe there's some clues. Let's take a look. Today is a rainy day. I prepared Ripple, his favorite sour sauce kipper. His look of satisfaction made it all worthwhile. Even if he's swimming in a leisurely manner, at the moment I proffer some of that sour sauce kipper, whoosh, that he pops in the water in such a lovely form, too. I never would doubt his affection for me, only perhaps they might love the kipper more. Ripple's this Kaholosaur's name, ah, I guess the sour sauce kipper in the pot must have been for her. Your own sparkling eyes, curly tail, and she requires Jado Jane, is there a curious story in this world than you? Oh, okay, you have never once been cheated, nor ever once doubted. So life might become your friend, enjoy a wonderful time playing with you. We're not so busy, I'd love to play with you all day. She would dart through woods swimming in muddled sunlight, like a child of the wind, a spirit oh so carefree. So will you two swords named Jade, playful two sons like, maybe you two could be friends, Theodorix, Roar. Across mountains and valleys, just search for your whereabouts. If you truly wish not to see me, it could have departed. In consideration of my pace, stopping ever so often, even collecting so much grain fruit on my behalf. I mentioned those shiny stones. Marigold, now will be Marigold. Only I know the tender heart that lies beneath your heart shell. To be a fighter so fierce was never your intent. So Marigold said to grow my temple with Sora Sin, called Pymont and Blind, but she doesn't see how that one counts as tender. Back on topic. These two Sorens are his friends. Why they knock him unconscious to round him then? Let's get him out first and ask questions later. That's true, if only we could get them to make way. Hang on, didn't the diary say that Ripple fancy sour sauce kipper? Some camps so maybe we can use it as a lure. As for Jade, let's send Theodore to smoke and make a friend shell. We could duel Marigold. Let's resolve this by more peaceful means, shall we? Like getting Theodorix to the fun loving Jade away. Ra ra. See, Theodorix is excited about the plan too. Perhaps the simplest and least faithful way would be to use the sour sauce kipper right. Sour sauce kipper in the camp to distract Ripple. Bring the sour sauce kipper from the camp. Ra. Sour sauce kipper in a suitable location, not edible, just a. It's basically ceviche, by the way. A quest item. Rompies of fish with a fruity fragrance. It's your fragrance. Bowls you over in the first way with sourness and spice that spring up the rear, granting this fish layers akin to the tides. View the surfer on a sea of flavor, even when the tumult has subsided, your yearning remains. Okay, place it. Which for a while, this is a good place to put it. What's a weight off to the side? Over there. Big people need more food. Hey, looks like he was attracted by the scent of food. The gap's not large enough, though. Could he help us over Jade away, Theodorix? Roar, roar. So leave it to you, then. Let's go check on the guy and see if he's okay. Once Theodorix leaves Jade off, all right. For a sorin buddy to lure the Yunkasaurus away. Still eating. Then we got a fight, or negotiate with the Tepetlosaurus. He's hanging on the wall. Shrar. And I know what you're trying to say, but I don't think he... I, I'm not sure he knew it was expensive. He gets it worked up. We're just checking to see if the guy over there is unhurt. It's like it's time to duel. Oh, Marigold, my lovely Marigold. Shrar, grar. Oh, she's getting even angrier. Yep, time to fight. Well then. Fair enough. Defeat the Tepetlosaurus. Hi. Cool. Shoot. Shoot. Woo -woo. She's been defeated, the tap the source named Marigold drills in the ground and hides only who knows where to take the chance to check out the injured person. I think that, in that case, it might have been... He might have presumed that if you were going to say, oh, it's expensive, and then said he would share it. He might have presumed you didn't mind that it was expensive. No obvious wounds. Here you are right, can you hear Paimon? Marigold, I eat gentle soul. You're concerned about me, aren't you? Worry not. I've been training myself to play with you without any worries. Was Pamani here, not some Marigold? Traveler, do you think you might have hurt his head in the fall? With any hit luck, his head will corrupt soon. That would be a problem. Wait, you're not Marigold. What's going on? What happened to me? Tell him how he was surrounded by the three swords and knocked down by Marigold. Oh, so that's what happened to Ikayo. Sorry for the trouble. The name is Ikayo. As you can see, I'm an adventurer who was chasing swords and who sometimes winds up being chased by them. I had a spell of ill health that resulted in my being bedridden for a while. Not only did my stamina decline greatly during that time, but I wasn't able to meet them on the regular either. To have been surrounded by them before, even before making it to camp. Oh, fortune I am to once have fretted over. No positive thinker, is that how it is? That's fair. But these days, I'm really, really, I get really, really hungry. 
If someone isn't... <sighs> Hunger is legitimately one of the most difficult biological drives to resist. You're a positive thinker, is that how it is? Okay, okay. Anyway, we had a bit of a tussle with Marigold in their rush to save you. Well, nothing to worry about. I imagine that was no different from any other game to her. She's probably up sulking somewhere over the loss. Despite appearances, she's got a delicate soul. Go comfort her later, so again, don't you worry. What do you mean by well-fed? All right, then, look like you're fine. Looks like you're fine. Guess we were for nothing, but Pama's glad you're okay all the same. Are you calling him rotund? I'm grateful for that, oh yes. Well, this isn't of much value, please take the sour sauce kipper recipe of mine, would you? If it loves this just maybe your companion Theodorus might too. Roo rar. Hmm, want to give it a try? No, no, no worry. Trout will make some for you. Rar. And he's still here with all his stories. Got the sour sauce kipper. Fun. What is a Sophicini? Ekayo. All right, all right. I know I miss you too. Didn't expect all of you to show up at once, of course. But I suppose what's they call triple the happiness. And da da da. Da da da. Da da da. Calling feta fancy cheese is more than a little funny to me, honestly. Okay. I wonder where I could find a Saurian to try talking to them. Okay. Really goes high. I... Where could I find a Saurian to indwell? There's a Yukasaur over there. That's as good an option as any. What is that guy doing? Okay. Throw him on a career. You're just normal. Okay. In that case. Oh, it's a it's a hot pocket. Okay. One, two. Thank you. All right, and good damage. Okay. That's. Go in here, possess you. Right. Cool. Well, what? What? Gasoline is expensive. It's not fancy. It's just expensive. I mean, brie is not all that expensive. It's not. Cheap cheese, but it's not gonna kill you. Fancy things have to be good. Generally. Or at least sophisticated. Feta is not sophisticated. Let's go play. Come on, let's play. Very least, it's just... It's good, but it's very simple. It's not... It doesn't require a lot of explanation. It doesn't have a complicated flavor profile. It's just... Salty. It's not bad, but it's not... You don't have to be a connoisseur. I was here first. Ripple. Any more sour sauce? Kipper, no. Da da da. Okay. So humans won't talk to the Saurians. Okay. Fair. Well, there we go. The important thing has been determined. Let's see... Looking what the other quest might be. Fish today. Golden pillars. Lies and promises. This camera action. Special friends. Clodipak. Yeah. Treasure and collectors. Excavation site. Sprout. Weighty wings. So only one more little quest there. Let's take a look.
This camera action lies in promises. Special friends. Source hide and seek. Special friends. Okay. Over there by the statue. Okay, and Quadipec. Okay. We just got the remainder of the quest down. Wait, is in the girl openly confessed to trying to take advantage of your kindness, or your friend said she was? So fast. Okay. It'd be funny in a bat in an awful kind of way if she did just admit to that. Roar, roar, roar. Roar. Roar! Vigilant Yunkasaurus. Are we interrupting its mealtime? It sure looks annoyed. Hold the Yunkasaurus down. We're we saying overly watchful Yunkasaurus. Dang. Let's see how well we can damn it like this. And that's just one tapped. Oh, it's something furry. Something furry is blocking your path. This feels like Undertale dialogue. It's the alpaca. Check alpaca. Mmm. Roar. Mmm. Yes, so you're all friends then. Roar, roar, roar. Someone who seems in charge of watching the alpacas comes over and calms the Incasaurus. Waktana. Hey, calm yourself half baked. See what's up. That's why you've always got your name, making rash judgments like you always do. Roar. Worry about him? He's just got too strong a sense of duty. So I'll answer when there are strangers about, but it's also thanks to the dedication. I've got an easy time over here taking care of these alpacas. Oh, like a guard dog. Ouch. Anyway, what brings you people in my little spot? Just roaming about, you know, our adventures have been concerting an idyllic pastoral life recently. You come to our place to sweep all the alpaca care to your story, and like I do, and the world's your oyster. Particles disappeared. Oh, Puppet didn't know that Yunkasaurus could do that, and here we were thinking about it, we're about to get attacked. So it was all just a misunderstanding, huh? They don't bark. They, they chirp, more like. They're very bird-like dinosaurs. I like the fact that they do have some feathered dinosaurs in here. I had a common one of those too. I know my fellow looks fierce, but he's very close to yawn alpacas. Why'd even call them friends? Roar, roar, roar. What's up, little guy? You want to be friends with him too? Roar, roar. I guess so, but yeah, thinking about it, usually just hang out with the two of us, some animal friends. I do him good, yes. would be quite the overall scene too, don't you think? I will tell the source down with my alpaca friends. Me, I could show down on three bowls of boys' meat stew before I got bored of it. So that'll depend on whether my pal is agreed or not. Friendship's not be forced at all when you say so half baked. Murph. What's this? Someone doesn't want to get friendly with our Theodorics. It's alright, whatever happens, Theodorics still got us. No pal knows they're trying to be nice just in case things don't work out, but there's no need to be this pessimistic from the get-go. It's any more encouragement to go up strong and healthy. It's right, Theodorics can do it. Palmon believes in the Aurora. We were tapless or got confidence coming out of its ears or on blind. Guess I'll head back and some rest. Just holler if there's trouble. You know what? Might as well holler for half baked and said he's the alpaca expert here after all. Just kidding. Alright, well the fella you got this good luck. Try talking to the alpacas. Your Saurian buddy wants to make some new friends. That's what you have to say, and there's a Saurian war just over there ready to fight. I've neither goals I must reach, nor have I urgent desires. I'm a happy shepherd, currently for alpacas, for the seasons and things that grow, for the cool breezes and rains. My favorite song, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? Dialogue for her. Before. That's what she says before you beat this quest. Okay. Hmm. Just think. Talk to you! Roar. Is there a story in a round I could indwell or. Talk. Roar, roar. They, they brought it back multiple times and it was popular. It's too early to say, but if it was popular, probably. Mm. Uh -huh. This one holding a grudge because they're misunderstanding with half-baked. Oh, well, not much we can do about that. Come on, Theodorus, let's try to look elsewhere. Mm. In that case, I just want to see. Hello. One, two. Thank you. All right, and... Oh, we didn't even get... Didn't get this in correctly. Okay. There we are. There, we got it activated. Okay, and... Bye! Dead. 
Just want to see... Give me a Saurian. Well... The difference is, is that you can already fight as the Saurians. It wouldn't be anything new or special. You can't control Funkai normally. Get your attention. Come on. Get over here. Gotta go for one of you. And then we can get that going. Okay, thanks. Thank you, and I... Alright, I totally miss. Annoying. Thank you, and... Shoot. Shoot. Well, you don't get to do that as a player character. You don't get to actually do that. And I know what you're joking about, but that is not the same thing. Well, they got to shuffle up walls, too. One, two, three, four. Four, it's hunting again. Where has it gone? Oh, interesting. Clearly, you're meant to use a Yumka sword. I'd talk about those monuments eventually, but there is no Yumka sword around here, so Kimich would be good for that. Looks like it's still mad at us. And there's a missing one somewhere. Pretty alpaca. We got a hint by talking in Saurian form. I wonder if there'll be a character. I feel like that would be good for Aoife. Being able to get talk to Saurian as a Saurian dialogue without having to transform. Hurrah. Mm -hmm. Greedy alpaca. Hurrah. Hurrah. Boy, it looks like we interrupted a feeding session. Don't worry, Theodore. It's just bad time. So let's try our luck elsewhere. Mm. If I went in Sorian form, could I talk to the alpaca at least? No, it's no different. So they basically count as human NPCs in that case. Because it actually is different. They just have nothing to say. Dopey alpaca. The dopey little temple with swords. Roar. Da da da, roar, 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 da da da, mm. roar, da da da, roar. Doesn't look like there's much hope here. Well, these things happening. No, don't feel down, Theodore, because you've still got a chance. If your soaring buddy is found, none of these three alpacas want to make friends with Theodorix. On oh, wonders if there are any alpacas nearby that we haven't asked yet, the fourth hidden one. Da da da, you have nothing more to say, either. Mm? No, you do have something to say. Just say, mm. And there you are with a hat. Roar. Scurdy cat apaca. Mm. Oh, what's this other apaca doing here? Roar, roar, roar. What's wrong? Is it trapped down there? Oh, we help it up. Use the wooden planks to create a path. Roar. Pick up. We got some wooden planks here. Let's use them to make it a way up. Okay, you can't destroy them. It'd be funny if you could just ruin your chances by breaking them. So wooden planks to create a path. It looks terrified. How sad. Can't talk to you right now. And Rar. Only after much Rar Rar encouragement from Theodorx is a timid alpaca climb back up using the freshly dead wood plank pad. Looks kinda dangerous. If it slipped off, it'd just die. Moo moo. Roo rar rar. Made face with Theodorx's enthusiasm, the timid looking alpaca seems unafraid and said bending down and gently touching Theodorx with its nose. Roo rar. I guess that means we're getting on great, huh? A friend of Theodorx is a friend of mine. I'm kind of jealous. Just of who exactly, so it's kind of dangerous for this alpaca to be out here completely on its own. We better tell locked in at what's going on. So Palm and Shur shall be happy to hear that Theodorx has made a friend, too. Port back to Wachtena. Doesn't look quite so scared anymore. Hmm. And here we are. Gonna say that we found it, or... 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. All four are here. Typo here. Wow. Okay. So in that case... Oh well. So you're back, little fella. How'd it go? Making the alpaca friends? Roar, roar, roar. Oh, aren't you a happy camper? Why are you even making me feel all jolly? Hey, walked in us. Shouldn't you be a bit more concerned about what happens to the alpacas? This is one Theodore's made friends with. It was in a real tight spot back there. So I guess I gotta talk to half Bank real quick then. Tell him to take more care. Made you chill about this. half Bank is a rough, huh? Sure, but he was always a massive worry word. If I took him off alpaca guard, he'd start losing fur from stress, I tell you. So this arrangement's best job, satisfactory for him, free and easy living for me, win-win, wouldn't you say? Yes, if Theodorx is fond of the alpaca toy over by the side, I can let you all have it. Roar. Theodorx doesn't know what standing on ceremony is, huh? 
Thanks, then. Walk to nine. And no biggie if you want to draw by again. You're always welcome. And we can pick this up. Fun. For his little play area. Hmm. <laughs> I have another goals I must reach, about half big. I have the life I enjoy, it's all thanks to a sense of responsibility. Speaking of his name, I did plan to call it something more normal. Back then, I was friends with the chef from Shemera. The chef from Shemera was trying all kinds of creative dishes, so I thought of naming him for some kind of food. Now, he might look pretty fierce, but he's a sweetie on the inside and occasionally makes a few harmless mistakes when it gets too reckless. Yeah, half big fits his vibe just fine. Got alpacas, foofy and furry, they're super cute. Sometimes when I really want to take an afternoon nap, I use them for pillows. It feels like that must be what it feels like to sleep on a cloud, right? Maybe their fleece could be used to make pillows or cushions. Won't be to it then. Here's wishing you a peaceful and pleasant day. Alpaca tooling has been stored in the rest area. Hmm. What do you have to say now? Hmm. Let's go and put those monuments real quick, honestly. Da da da. And greedy. Hmm. Half baked. Nothing. Okay. Just says the same thing as before. Same typo and all. All right. Security cat. Hmm. Still nothing. Okay. Pick these up. Why not? I did not mean to do that. Okay. Couple. That over there is... The tunnel. I've been there before. Play around with those... Flame granites real quick. Oh, and actually there was a spirit sconce for a Yumka sort right there. Okay, never mind. Boom, and... Boom. Boom, I... Oh, alright. Timing thing, and shoot. And... Oh, is this a matter of order? It might be. Oh, you can see right here. One, two, three. Blue, purple, dark blue. Dark blue. Purple. Blue. Ah, okay. I like the clues that the graffiti give. Graffiti gives. Yep. Yep. And this should do it. And there's our chest. That was fun. The real fun one was when we had to stop at turning broken windmills so it the graffiti around it completed the windmill appearance. Courier's yeah, timely dispatched. At a guard tower or some kind of horn. Hmm. Either way. Let's see what other quests we got. When you complete one of those. Hmm. See they're not on quests. Not one. Hmm. Oh, goodness. Where are the not one quests listed? Pledge and Forgettance. Trips from Fire, Ripe for Trouble. Spit the Waves. Case of the Crafting Bench. Road ahead. Okay. It's the crafting bench one, which is over in the stadium. Interacting with the crafting bench. Okay. Would be over here. And then we can finally get to Sorry and Rest Area. That's tragic. Should get angry about it. It would help things. Saurian. Okay, crafting bench. Quotation marks. Wooden crate. Ah, chew. Someone's hiding there then. Oh, we got a Mora rock. Crafting bench. Water, earth, wooden fire. Craft for me what ah, ah, chew I desire. 
So he's trying to basically fake the crafting bench. What is interesting is that this implies that there's a voice or something that says the blinds. It's probably hearing things or that crafting bench just sneeze. On Earth, when fire craft from me what I desire, back to normal now it seems. Er, er Palmon, thanks for better off not using this weird crafting bench traveler. So won't be needing it then. In that case, don't mind me. But this one's really odd and stuff. What do you mean? Don't they all look like this? Don't worry, I won't be too long. Mwedi submits the materials required by the recipe, and you exchange some words while the potions are being synthesized. You want to name Sumak. Learn that this is your first time at the stadium with the Sacred Flame. I don't. I'm joking. I see nothing wrong with it at all. Right, maybe even crafting benches can feel under the weather sometimes. It's going in Palmon's certain where humans can be off the game, sure, but a crafting bench is just an object. Yeah, speaking of which, would you have time for a friendly sparring match? I'd like to test the potion I just made. It's said to help with adjusting your current state. If it works, give me the recipe. What do you have for you? The endless battles? I'll you worn away mind, flesh, and soul. Let's fight here. Well, because what I mean is that implies that maybe the crafting benches do actually talk. And that the lines we see when we interact are ones that we're actually supposed to be hearing. Oh, no problem. No nice clearing at the stadium. We only need to test out the potion, so it shouldn't take too much of your time. What are you saying? As long as it's quick. Hi, new to upper, upper. Let's go, then. We're the court near the stadium of the Sacred Flame. Ah, uh, achoo. Da da da. Over there. You discover a strange crafting bench in the stadium of the Sacred Flame. That's. Over there, we can just get there physically. Okay. Oh, goodness. Jump did not quite clear. Right. And. Alright. Thank you. Cool. This place ain't half bad, huh? Shall we get right to it? Bring it on. I was waiting for you to say that. And. Do I come ready yourself? First time far from home. Probably flower feather then. Okay, cool. And I. Oh, now we got water. It's not good. Get in here. Get on the burning grass. Not approaching me? Huh. Whatever. And. Got our fire up. Thank you. Or not. Never mind. This is getting rough. Perfect time to try that potion. Oh, uh. Oh, now she's just taking damage from the potion. Frightening. Adjust your state for the worse. Erg. Hey, you're sure you're okay? You act sort of acting weird. Weird the second you ingested it, it's so. Does it hurt? Stop talking for now. Just get some rest. So incredibly effective at adjusting one state exactly. Seriously, now's not the time for joking. Come on, travel. Let's get her somewhere she can be treated stat. Take Sumak back to the seat and have her properly treated. So the crafting badge is probably malfunctioning. Check on Sumak's condition. Hi. <clears throat> Thank you, Traveler Palmon. I feel much better now. Few Palmon's glad you're okay. You scared the stuffing out of us. Could have been tricky misunderstanding to clear up. And we didn't poison you. Exactly, now that Palmon thinks about it, if that had been some kind of poison, we might be taken for murderers. It's fine not to brag or anything, but I've been in superb health since I was little. Well, I can count a number of times with fallen sick in one hand. This is no biggie. Both stone can shatter any obstacle. Poison isn't exactly a common cold, true enough. Let's say the formula for the potion is fine. It certainly isn't a poison at any rate. I mean, you got it from a trusted source. Now I bought it from a merchant named Sonka Yoke. He only comes out after sunset. It just happened to be night when I ran into him. How lucky. Well. Oh, yeah, so she was sold a poison recipe. Lucky that sounds super suspicious. He totally got scammed. We've got to find that liar and set his pants on fire. There's no need for that, really. It's probably in that crate. Trust my eye for people, he's no charlatan. Could it really be that the crafting bench is having an off day? There's a good chance that, that being the crafting bench, I mean, you haven't been the only victims thus far. Sir Hompak, thanks for your help earlier. Despite treating those who are injured is one of my duties regarding the crafting bench. Have you ever heard about the locusts? First time for me. Sure, they're the who's and the where doing the what's it's yeah, first time for me. It's fun if you've never heard of them. We were just six people have never really cared about being praised or being recognized like the true warriors. As far as we're concerned, ours is still honorable work. Past the hawk wings, the faction I belong to has always been in charge of the state and its various facilities. Robotting sorts, we are always doing our best to do our part. We've not had many new members have joined in many new re in recent years. We've got experience on our side, but even the best can't be everywhere at once, and there's so much to do. Can't say we made no mistakes either. Eventually, after taking the opinions of various parties into account, the speaker's chamber ruled that she would regularly hold a tournament in which all factions could participate. 
The winners would earn the right to carry about our noble work. We were unfortunately beaten have temporarily lost that honor our successors or the locusts. They run the show quite differently. If they'd gotten given the work their all, I'd have no gripes, but and I'm putting this as generously as possible. Never seen a bunch of lads as hell-bent on profit as they are. In the latest tournament, we Hawkwoods encountered an unusually high number of accidents hamstring our performance. <clears throat> and many were linked to using alchemical potions, just like what happened to Sumak. I've been thinking that they've done something to the crafting bench before they were just targeting us Hawkwings. Now others have gotten involved, they've gotten way over the line. To save that button, after we despicable pack of scoundrels. If we only just heard of these factions, it does sound like that's serious beef, but... You know, without evidence, even the Speaker's Chamber has its hands tied. So my fault if only I'd been more vigilant, the reason we missed out on collecting hard evidence before. Because I never imagined they'd stoop to such a lowdown, no good dirty tricks. I know this sounds crass, but thanks to Sumak's injury, we now have a chance to investigate this affair. And outside our third party, this whole conflict with you as our witnesses will be able to expose the locust perfidy. Not just for our sakes, but everyone's. Get where Mr. Hompak's coming from if the factions in charge of public amenities are up to no good, we're all in trouble. My testimony alone won't cut it, will it? If we go back now and check out that crafting batch out. Typo. It's already too late. The locusts are a tricksy bunch. It won't be that easy to unmask them. To be honest, the fact that an outsider to our conflict was injured was a happy accident. Whatever the case, there's no doubt that any trace of tampering will have been scrubbed clean by the time we investigate the crafting bench. We seem infinitely familiar with how the locusts operate. He's probably trying to hide that he's the guy in the crate or something. Of course, there are rivals, ones who stole our glory from us. Well, since there's no tournament on today, I'm going to collect testimonies from previous victims. What do you two mind coming along? Boy, is that drudgery smell? A fair sum. Makes drudgery quite tolerable. A fair sum you shall have. So we just can't refuse requests for help, can we? You rest here for Sumak. We'll meet up with you again. Let's see the evidence we need. So I'm sorry for dragging you two into this. Don't say that. You've got to blame someone, then blame the locusts. Yeah, so we're doing this for the good of everyone. That's right. What we do, we do for the benefit of all, and it is a good thing indeed. Anyway, no time to lose. Let's go down to the outdoor training grounds and collect some testimony. The outdoor training area to collect testimony. Well, I didn't think I'd get beaten as soon as I arrived at the stadium. The story is going to be a riot for my friends back home. Being the butt of a joke amongst friends is worth it sometimes. I think so too. Friends call it a kind of unhealthy masochism, though, but I don't think my health has been negatively affected, so I'm probably fine. Must be saddening to have your friends laugh at you. You think so? I don't think they mean any harm. It's a pretty funny scene at any rate. I wouldn't mind if you laughed too. I and the crafting bench is gone. I am gonna get... I need a bit more water. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> Honestly, I wonder sometimes how many Fatui Harbingers might sort of have their story conclude in Snizdaya versus possibly later. I said I want to go get water. I did other stuff too. We're in a read. Okay. There is... There's really anything around here. I know I saw an NPC here earlier. Oh, okay. Fair enough. We're in a connect. Or something like that. Don't worry about it. Can have Keenich light these up, I guess. Fair enough. Well, I didn't know you hadn't heard. It's okay. It's all over now. And... Oh, did they all unlight? Oh, okay, now I see one. Two, three, four. Okay. It's another do it in the right order thing. Three. Four. Okay. Wait. What? Oh, okay. Wait. Three. Wait. Numbers of paints? Yellow. Four yellow. One yellow. Three yellow. Two yellow. Eh, okay, now I see. It's based on the yellows. One yellow. Two yellow. Three yellow. Well, it means that you didn't get enough calories. That what you ate didn't nourish you enough. What's worrying is that the food you ate didn't nourish you. Okay. Two, three. So nice. Okay. Should be something up here, apparently. Maybe. Could try to just grapple oh. over there. Instead of trying to just walk it. Yeah. Cool. There we go. Let's see what's going on over here. Sure, sure. Good jump. Nice. Oh, I could have kept going. Okay. Come on. Apple and radish. I. Where did the radish go? Is the radish gone? No, the radish is right over here. Okay. Well, it... That means you're hungry. That does not mean you're not hungry. Your, your body actually wants food. No, that means you're hungry. Just because you're not actively starving doesn't mean you're not hungry. Just just eat something. Have a have a sandwich. Okay. I didn't know there was this aerial bridge over here. That's cool. Huh. Stop. If, if you're still hungry, then you're still hungry. I don't know what to tell you. If you're still hungry, eat more. Let's go goon some questions. Talk to you, Yunkasaurus. Da da da. Then enjoy feeling the hungry then, I guess. Stop worrying so much. Just... Eat or don't. Make a choice. That one I can fight or one I can talk to? Bet I probably would get more information if I talk to them. 
Well, then stop whining. Papa? Is it worth getting that angry over honestly? What's wrong? Hey, Roy, really Wilson, that means a lot. Our little group broke up, you know, and it actually been a while, and suddenly an old friend came knocking. So someone suddenly connect on the boy, unless they need to borrow some money anyway, since everyone's pretty tight buds, I gotta let him whistle, oh yeah? No, this guy not only did he not say thanks, he even told me off for not giving him enough. He even said something about how after the hawk wings won back to the rightful place, gave me back double, blah blah, so I'm not sure if he's just pig-headed or... Anyway, I'm an adult and generous to boot, so I decided to help as much as I could. I could want to give myself a medal. Yeah. Sorry for disturbing you. I'm just leaving a radius like that. Alrighty then. What to see? We already actually checked what's up here. Ganda? Ganda. Let's just see what historians might have to say. Uh. Mm. One, two. And let's get the fire down. Cool. Nice, and very good. Very good. Well, it... You can choose between... Well, well here's the thing. Is that... Bread is just empty calories. Mostly. If you still feel hungry, it's because your body needs nutrients. Especially since since you said you've only been eating meat and literally nothing else for the whole week. Because your parents just shit the bed and got nothing other than meat. And that's probably part of what it is. You're not getting nutrients. If you ate some fruit or something, you would probably not feel as hungry. Hungry. Just hungry. Is this guy underfeeding them, or what's going on here? Hmm. Oh well. The fastest. I... <sighs> I need to have you institutionalized or something. Ogun. Hey Ogun, it's been a while since you still remember the crafting bench instant. Just wanted to hear what you have to say about that. Seriously, you still hung up about that? What's the point? Don't worry, I've got my ways. It's really rolling on outsiders to interfere. You said that they just bought meat. That's what you said. You received a scent in its natural habitat, selling a cause to the food need not. Do you consider me elite inter reinforcements instead? Outside you are, and outside you remain, however. That's my training. Prove yourself worthy of my trust. Ask again after that, and you'll get your answers. Are we here to get testimonies out of this term to a test of strength? So I can't help you there. We Hawkwings have traditionally presided strength above all else. Ogun's an arch-conservative, even by our conservative standards. Better just take his challenge, rather than waste your breath. I have faith in your abilities, okay then? Don't think it over. Ready? Is it my challenge? No question mark. Bring it on. Okay. 15 unstable Fulgesson crystals within 120 seconds. Huh. Okay. okay. Do they... One. One damage. We gotta stay away. Then, let's make sure I don't take too much damage. Hmm. You know, maybe I could just heal up. This is an interesting way to do it, but Shiwanen is starting to... Suffer consequences. My goodness. Your Matsutake meat rolls. Okay. Where are the other crystals? I... Where are they? They're just down there, or what? Probably. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we got more. More around here. We are getting more Fogiston from it, though, which is nice. But, Shilinen is taking some hits. Okay, cool. That was simple. Talk to Ogun, and we even got a treasure chest from that. Fun. Okay. Okay. 
Hunpak and Ogun, much obliged then. Well, how was that? Strong enough for you. A diamond in the rough, but a diamond nonetheless. What do you want to know? To read Ogun tells of his previous ordeal, sparing no detail. Hunpak in turn records the testimony as given. Ah, but what's the use of taking all this testimony? It's a waste of time. It's no warrior that get, who gives up before battle is joined. I will give it my all, regardless of what you say. Suit yourself, then. Talk to Papa. It's not far from here. Record of Ogun's testimony. Ogun's testimony. It contains clear with information on the time of crafting, bench uses and purpose, and the victim's condition. For today's training, as such, do it. What are you doing here? I'm a coach. Other than developing training regiments, I don't have much else to do. Mm, sorry to bother you. Mm -hmm. Any other challenges? Or I guess that was it. Hampa is over there. Gonna be grapple? Or... No, sorry. Pompa, we're here about. Oh, I've been waiting. Heard you all just fine. You reckon I'd be next. Just didn't expect to sit through one of Ogun's old grumber lecture strolls. First, nice. That saves us the trouble. Looks like we can start any time. We'll write it all down. No need to be hasty. Quote, pass my training. Prove yourself worthy of trust. Ask again after that. And you'll get your train answers. Unquote. Skin why. Don't you think you want to want just by watching others overcome obstacles? If you don't think so, I sure do. Such, I too would like a chance to learn from you in return for my testimony. Can't let Ogun monopolize all the fun like that now, can we? Is that how this works? Of course, why wouldn't be? And if you're willing to start now, the sooner the better. Pop is challenge power particles using grapples. Pop back. So I'm counting on you too. Papa, it's not over yet, is it? I'm keeping track of the time. Okay. Could use that, but where are our grapple points? Over here. Oh. If you die, make sure I find out. I don't like surprises. Well, I don't like suspense. Cool. Keep on moving. I have to grapple up, or... Got a platform over here. Over there. Over there, and... Last couple particles. There we go. Cool. Another chest, too. Oh. Just common, but still. Well, there's a difference between, between you being sick or dead. Okay. Let's talk. So I'm counting on you two. We've done this now. Amazing, simply amazing. Take it all that. There'll be a test later. We can get down to business now, right? Just so can. I'm a man of my word. I'll tell you all I know. Papa Vidaly recounts the mishap he encountered before, which Hompak records in a more concise form. <clears throat> Thank you for your testimony. With this, we're on solid step close to reclaiming the honor that is rightfully ours. Well, you sure did a great job telling the story, but it's for how useful it will be. You know, that's where you're mistaken, little miss. Form is about decorum, and decorum is crucial here. Crucial. In case you never heard, stay a while and listen, or can we just go now? It's time we went to find Anil. It should be with the people at the springs at this time, but before that, we'll hum back to a secluded spot. You can have a co-host for test, then? What's with all the mystery? Let's find a special start for the white toes on about the thing, that thing we agreed on earlier. I'm here now, aren't I? It sure was a pain in the neck to scroll these things out under the noses of my faction mates, though. I think I'm afraid we'll need of you in the future, too. Now, come on, this for everyone's benefit, isn't it? As indeed it is, you're a good fellow, worthy of respect. Until you showed up, I'd have never thought that a locust would have gone against their faction's interests. To be honest, it breaks my heart to know that some of us sunk such contemptible conduct. Okay. Rest in peace. I'll miss you. Yet, as a locust, it'll be difficult for me to change the status quo, so some external help is quite welcome indeed. But you're helping the Hawkwings on the sly, then, wouldn't that make you a traitor? Oh, I put it in such harsh terms, or goals not aligned to expose evildoers and see them punished. Well then, the hour grows late, so I'll be taking my leave. If you need anything else, just contact me. Good luck to you. Because on leaves without a sound. So what he gave you was... Until on the locust, of course, it will bust us her testimony all the more. Honestly, I'm glad to know that reasonable people like Tuizan still exist in that swarm of locusts. Now right, let's keep gathering evidence. We can't let his good will go to waste. We'll find Anela over with the people of the springs. The people of the strings beat Anela. 
Record of pompous testimony, many exaggerations, redundancies, and information. Make this one much harder to parse. Focus purchase invoice. I guess they are actually a real group then. The loach amid this, these items only the reason for unquantity of the loach pearl purchase. Purchase seems out of place. Finally, loach pearl mention. It's funny. I wonder if we'll get a poison potion that we can make using loach pearls or something, because as of now, they're still completely useless. Literally not a thing to do with them. Okay. Grapple. And I think... Going over here, we'll be just fine. Oh! I've seen you before. You just didn't have anything to really say. Because you were part of this quest. Yeah. Let's get a nail with some questions. Got your Kahoa sword right there. Let's actually... Go Saurian mode and see what you have to say. Thank you. Alright. Ripple not hear me here. Oh yeah, Ripple's the one who likes the Kipper. Eh, that's fun. Now do you want to nail it? What do you reconsider the matter I wrote to you about? Sicker than detective you are, chasing me all the way here? Well, what's in it for me? I mean, you are a member of the Hawkwings. I was, I may be a good swimmer, but that doesn't mean I'll stay on board your sinking ship. Can at least provide some testimony. <coughs> Throw myself in the pot of trouble you're brewing. Well, this feels like a waste of time. We should just go back home for Sumac, but we got another challenge, right? Well, well, who are these two little cuties? Help you hire a compact. We could say that. Good, I've changed my mind. Young just with potential, just my jam. How about this little lad? Have you passed my test? Consider giving a statement after all. Caught me shocked and surprised at test. So they really are part of the same faction. Oh, very good. Shall we begin? Bring it on. Complete a nailless challenge. 40 within 50 seconds. Thanks for your hard work. We have halfway in a good habit. Sure, you don't want to hang in there a bit. Can't even quit early. There's no button to press. I. Oh, well. Got these carrots first. Okay. This won't take long at all. It's, okay, that's an obstacle wall from the side. It looks a bit different. Okay. Four coins, thank you. And... Ah, we even got a spirit spring. Okay. I mean, flow light. Challenge. Okay. Come on. The jumps by the Saurians are a little better suited for this, frankly. Cool. Ah, we got another one. Cool. And we're coming back. That's okay. And this. Yep, just the last two. Cool. There we are. Got a chest from it. Common chest. Thanks for your hard work, still, you know. Quite the budding talent for sure, and you won't forget Hompack, why don't you join up with me and stuff, lad? Sounds good, don't let's talk terms and compensation, no thanks, I've got a lot of commissions on my docket. Let's get back on topic, shall we? We're here to get our testimony, you know. That's how it is, shame, but I did agree, so... You know what, laser relates for imposing a where Hompack pins it down faithfully in its entirety. It should be all our testimony squared away, we're really not coming back unable, should we succeed this time? You can invite me after the fact, you should know I can't send men to our queen, despite being total failures, or do you? Of course, the kids are a different story. My door's always open to you, and if you'd rather take this to a hot sp No. Er, we're busy right now, bye. Let's see, Ani and Aniwa. We've got all the test modes, so we go back to the same look for Sumak. Sauce Kipper again. What's wrong with Star Sauce Kipper? Oh, okay, right. So she mentions Ripple. Didn't know what Ripple was about before. Okay. Record of a nameless testimony seems like the continent is not stored on criticism by the hawk wings either. Let's go back. Okay, hmm. then. Here you are, Sumak. You're better now, aren't you? Back, Sumak. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hey there, you were gone a pretty long time, to be honest. The testimony gathering not go so well. 
Well, the Hawk went, this is really weird rules. We had to pass the test before they talked to us, and the reason they gave were all over the place. A certificate for every test we passed, but we've totally a master already. Anyway, we were definitely due for a title upgrade. I see, ship isn't there to see everything go down then, but I've become a skilled fighter in my own right by now. Passion by martial training, aren't you? Salt Pamela's not sure the Hawkwind's methods would be for you. Speaking of which, Trompex, seems like you aren't exactly everyone's favorite fellow, weren't you all companions once? I'm sorry, did something happen? They're kind of detached, like they don't care about what you're doing, and maybe they don't approve. So strange isn't exposing wrongdoing and punishing perpetrators is the right thing to do. So why would they act like that? I'm afraid that the Hawkwind's being scattered like so many grains of sand is it's a disgrace I must bear responsibility for as one of its members, so I hope that this is our chance to reunite. Do anything to regain our honor. You know what they say, the truth off winds up in the custody of the few. I won't throw in the towel just because I'm in the minority. I've heard that one before, you could always be in the minority because they're mistaken, you know? Well, the truth will be revealed soon, won't it? The Speaker's Chamber will judge based on the evidence both parties provide, so please, I'd like you to be present as witnesses. I'm pretty sure my testimony would be valid, maybe I just had an accident that was totally unrelated to the locus. So couldn't you just get too much to take the stand? What would we be there for? You know, all of your testimony is absolutely necessary, don't worry, I won't ask you to ask against, act against your convictions. Revolve you in anything unjust, just tell the truth, that'll do. Well, you did help me when I was injured earlier, Mr. Hompik, so I owe you that much. Is it really necessary? Oh, well, I might as well help get to the bottom of this hot traveler. Thank you all. In that case, let us meet at the outside training grounds in two days. After two days. Check Anewa's. Right. Two more days. It's not actually going up in the sky like it used to. I wonder if it's because we're, quote, kind of indoors or what. <clears throat> or maybe it's because they realized that it would show placeholder terrain often. They wanted to make that not happen as much. Okay. The door training area. Still. Over there, we got another challenger. What? Hmm. Come on, come on. Ooh, I didn't think I'd take that damage there. Oh well. Okay. 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 And here we are. Time to discuss. Hmm, lots of people. Well, that's quite the crowd. Pumpkin's getting a bit nervous. Hey there, Traveler Paimon. Sumak, there you are. How are you feeling? Great, thanks to you. I actually end up going to other crafting benches to try that potion. We've got guts, and it seems like the fork was fine, so I told you I've got a good eye. Problem has been with the crafting bench, then. It's probably gonna be the guy, Hobbeck, who's been... who fiddled with it initially to try to frame the locust or something. Oh, look, we should be starting soon. See that person in the middle? That's Mr. Tenehua, the judge sent by the Speaker's Chamber. People facing Mr. Hompek should be locust members, only two of them, that's fewer people than we have. That looks familiar on our side, I don't remember joining the Hawklings. Alright, so it really was a locust, but wait, why is he standing on that side? Hmm, it's about time, so let's get started. I'm sure that all present are well aware of this dispute, so let's just cut to the chase. Is that your case, Hompek? Thanks, thanks for the chance to speak. Everyone knows that the locusts have replaced us Hawklings for some times now. Such grudges will not simply vanish. It should also go to that saying that we were still capable competitors if we merged with Taurus in another tournament we would reclaim the glory that was once ours. It just so happens that, on the eve of the event, our various contestants met with mishap after mishap. Each victim shared something in common. Their accident happened after using a locust-managed crafting bench. Don't imagine it's a stretch to conclude that the locusts were the sole beneficiaries of the resultant injuries. As such, we can see that they had both the motive and the ability to put such a plan into practice. It's probably a matter of framing them because they don't have the strength to win normally anymore. So one minute there, eats queen. Bro, I'm gonna ask you to slow your role, motives and capabilities are one thing, but doing it is a whole different ball game. So let's be real, you're not the only ones who have beef, beef with us, you know how it is when you got nine and nine problems, it's a couple more. I think we've got the time to go around, exacting revenge one by one, besides I haven't heard of too many people getting injured after in using crafting edges lately. I'm sure it's not just your persecution complex acting up. There haven't been many cases lately, but they happened, didn't they? And the fact that such targeted attacks stopped happening just as I started investigating is quite natural, don't you think? Well, if you were the one in hiding behind it and tampering, was somebody in that great? Moreover, there was a recent victim, someone completely uninvolved in this conflict, in fact. We're very happy when Sumak got injured. Sumak, that young lady over there, 
suddenly felt unwell after ingesting a potion crafted using one of your crafting benches just a few days ago. She had to be carried back to the stadium for treatment. The Outlander Travelers, Traveler and Paimon, can corroborate your testimony, and the two of them are also present while I collect testimonies from the Hawkwind victims. Mr. Hobbeck speaks the truth. I did verify the form it was suitable afterwards. I can only conclude that the crafting bench itself was faulty somehow. And speaking of what happened that day, we didn't use that crafting bench in the first place because it seemed weird. Here also are the victim testimonies. Good judge that I gathered together with the Traveler and Pamon. If you would, you too. Submit the victim's testimonies to the judge. This mood change, I feel like I'm getting nervous too. I'm submitting the victim's testimonies to you. So Hawkwind's little helper looking for me for I've got nothing to say to the likes of you. Da da da. Here I have arrived too early or not the exciting bit yet, or was it not one? So many familiar faces I can barely breathe. Sigh, the sooner this is over, the better. <clears throat> and Ogun. I'm not cons too concerned about the outcome, this just happens to be my duty. Still the same. Dogs before, alright. Mm. Okay, Tenawa. Pass the Hawk Wings victim testimonies to me once you're ready. There's also that Wokus transaction record. Was Papa trying to get him to hoist himself with his own petard or purchase invoice, a loach pearls? Alright. <clears throat> All three. Well, it certainly appears that this is no groundless accusation after all. Any objections? Eat scream. Alright, so let's just say that the crafting bench were responsible for his malfunction, that it most amounts to what negligent management. I mean, not like we hog up the gore for angels like the Hawkwings, so we're a bit lacking in experience. Some mistakes are bound to happen, gotta give us newbies a chance, right? As for forerunners, we've got nothing but respect for them, but accusing us of sabotaging them, now that's just too much. About this, we'll actively discuss compensation with those who suffered losses due to our oversight, will that do? I think I'm blind to the strong man you're propping up. You quote would deliberately target us, Hawk Wings. There's no way this was unintentional or the result of some kind of negligence. And do you have proof of malicious intent? Don't think you can get that from the victim testimonies. Of course I do. In fact, I've got intel from within your little gang. You see the loach pearls on this invoice? The time you the locust mass purchase of them can so and such. Exactly that the Hawk Wings mishaps. Now I know that loach pearls are not materials that need to be stockpiled in large amounts. Some more substances were found in the potions imbibed by the victims. Or did you get that invoice? A member of your corrupt organization whose conscience hasn't yet breathed its last, of course. Judging by his reaction, that sure hit him where it hurts. For safety reasons, that will not disclose us doubt how to person's name. But I guarantee you that the Traveler and Paimon were there when I received the invoice and they can corroborate the event we were indeed. Did indeed encounter a special friend. Yeah, they even said it broke their heart to witness such contemptible conduct by the locusts. Really, in here I thought we were famous for being earnest dullards. Didn't know we had someone that eloquent on staff, I'd really like to meet them. Papa was probably faking them. But anyway, let's just assume the list in your hands is genuine, so what? It's circumstantial evidence, your accusation remains mere speculation. This invoice could just as well point some rot and traders' locusts using your operating funds to buy the loach pearls so they can build an artificial hot spring in their backyard. Loach pearls would be good for that. And wouldn't that be a terrible disgrace for us? Don't worry, I promise we'll investigate thoroughly and give a full accounting to everyone that has that. It's likely you're really going to just deny everything to the bitter end. Like your evidence just doesn't cut it. About this end, this picture clearly shows someone tampering with the crafting bench. A chest full of wood is next to them. That's a red hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, red. Flower feather. Oh, that person sure looks familiar, isn't that you, Sumak? Oh, so it is. What a coincidence. Or you some sort of important figure to be under surveillance like that? It's all a big conspiracy. Would someone as ordinary as me really need monitoring? I expect this move from you to be sure, but please everyone think for a second is this stuff actually proving his claims? Is it simply more of the same old circumstantial evidence so Sumok's been in on this from the start? Even if this picture could prove that someone tampered with a bench, can you prove that person to be a locust? If I said that this picture was given to me by a locust, just like that invoice, then would you travel in Pama and be able to vouch for that? No, I don't remember that happening. I cannot. It's the first time we're seeing this picture, and judging by your reaction, Sumok, that's your first time as well, right? I've never, sorry, Mr. Hompet, but we can't give false testimony. Picture might have been taken by the guy in the crate. So does the stout part of the harder person you speak of truly exist, or do you conspire with those fellows over there to invent the story out of whole cloth? 
Were you not a lightly locust? Is that not how we overcame these scattered hawk wings? I find it difficult to imagine that we have a turncoat amongst us. Take on almost any request, but we've got principles too. We wouldn't lie to tell me this right traveler. Hmm, though it does, not, does seem the locusts are not above suspicion. This is not enough to make a final judgment. If your stout heart and special friend could test one person hon person hunpack, that would make things much simpler. Claim that there's no such person. Yes, it's queen. Absolutely, there's no way a traitor exists among our ranks. Since this has reached an impasse, there's no point in continuing. And Papa is with the other hawk wings. Let's see if something to add hunpack. Let's call it for today. Still, before we adjourn, we submit the evidence you just presented. The purchase invoice of the judge. Well, it feels like things are getting weirder and weirder. It's fine, there's still a way. If you got other tricks up your sleeves, by all means, don't hold back. Hit me with everything you've got. Still nothing to say. Should be over soon, right? Phew, now we can finally go back. Wait, could it be? Hmm, just as I thought. Yup, it was Tom Peck being a sore loser. To submit the locust purchase invoice ready, so finally we got to use this. It's probably Hompok or something. So it looks like this is the end of the line, Hompok. No, we still we can still Mr. Tenaha. I'd like to identify the locust member who provided me with the intel. No, oh, wait a minute, that's not a good idea, is it? Before that, I hope that the speaker's chamber can attend protection. The person I'm going to identify, that will be no problem, yes? Gonna falsely accuse us, or we can consider this. Consider it, this crafting match affair is an affair neither big nor small, but the Speaker's Chamber nonetheless hopes for a straightforward end to the dispute. Both sides agree to this, I assure you that we will not allow any acts of retaliation from the Locust. Of course, he'd agree, he said himself that our goals were aligned, he'd expose evildoers and see them punished. In fact, I believe that he came here today precisely because he agrees, isn't that right, Tozan? Oh, he, really, he named you the traitor. Well, that's trouble, I've got no idea what you're talking about, Mr. Hompeck. No, you're in a hurry to find some way out, but you've got the wrong guy. But what's wrong with you? Didn't give me the crafting bench picture yourself. The facility is managed by the locusts, so only you could have taken that photo. Well, that's just the thing. I've checked that photo, and the crafting bench in it isn't one under our management. No, oh, Putman's getting lost already. We first met Sumak at the stadium of the Sacred Flame, didn't we? That bench must have been the one there, right? Exactly, I remember it clearly. That was my first time at the stadium. I was happy to make good friends, only to meet Misfortune not long after. Okay, so it's probably just Hanpak, not Sumak conspiring. So can we take that to mean that the crafting bench was a fake, then? Fake crafting bench? How can it be? Well, if people can fabricate evidence, is a fake crafting bench that unbelievable, you know, other than the question of motive? I mean, it's not like some poor effort into a fake crafting bench with which to frame us locusts. Not caring if they injured an innocent passerby in the course of fabricating their evidence. If we're tempted to use scummy tricks to try to create internal strife between us. What about the invoice? Traveler and Palman were both there when he handed me on the tournament rest day, they can vouch for me. Well, we got it from Pampa. Let's not think too hard about Tozan's change in attitude first. Let's just tell the truth. We did indeed see him. What do you mean when the day we had no tournament on? Well, that's weird because, dear Judge Visser Tenehua, I clear recall, we were soaking in a hot spring on the people of the Springs Turf that very same day. Oh, but we saw him so close to this place, too. Hey, now that's crazy talk if I've ever heard it. How can one person be in two places at once? But I had to take a guess based on a certain someone's nature. The one he saw might have been a fake. I mean, with a crafting bench of fake and the witness a bust, are we sure we can trust the invoice? Are we sure it's not all nonsense? Sure, everyone here can figure it out. This is all a frame up. Frame up? That's right. Whether the crafting bench, the injured Sumak, Trevor and Palman, who are roped in as witnesses, you orchestrated all this yourself, didn't you, Hompak? We gotta find him, or? You know that the scattered Hawkwings were not a match for us? That's why I had to resort to dirty tricks. Shame though, you were destined to fail the moment you decided to forge evidence. Lies will always be exposed, and now everyone will look upon your every word with suspicion, and it won't matter what evidence you present will be a fake, just like before, and that's what everyone will be able to help but think. There's no credible ill left in the Hawkwings, and you're the one to blame, serves you right, thinking that you could indulge your selfish desires under the guise of justice. Da da da, nothing to say that side, this has proved more complicated than I anticipated. I'm afraid my judgment will have to wait for another day. Trevor Palmon, you were deceived in giving false testimony, so I shall not press charges against you this time, but my eyes didn't deceive me, or anything but not a perjurer. That's right, Palmon was there too, we saw it with our own eyes and even talked to him, it was him for sure. So you mean to call me the judge a liar? Well, we're not saying that, hmm, hey, something, Hompak. It's a Tozan we met that day an imposter you put up to the job. Possible that was a Tozan I know, and he did give me the crafting bench picture I've been had. Don't know how he did it, though. The situation is as he says. I could not explain the most crucial mystery, and now my every word arouses suspicion. I'm already utterly lost. Did we? I don't even think we talked to him. Tozan. It's not Mr. Hompak. We worries of not one. Don't call throw in the towel that easily. Typo. 
Like I said, I've got a good eye for people. I know you're not lying. It's Quinn was confident when he spoke and didn't seem like one to purposely lie, but Toto's not now that's an experienced liar. <clears throat> but from what happened just now, everyone must have been convinced that Hanbeck was the architect of all this. Palma doesn't know who to trust anymore, now she's even doubting with Sumak. Is this what they call a quest of confidence? At times like this, a little out-of-the-box thinking is needed. Box out, talk to the historians, maybe? It's not that Hobbeck intended this as a frame-up from the start. Whether two is on saw this coming and struck first. Uh-huh. So me not suspecting Mr. Hobbeck's investigation might turn up something for real and actually hurt the locus. Two's on presented help, only to lure him into making the wrong decisions, so he could use the case to destroy the Hobbeck's credibility. It's definitely possible. When this thing's over, a done deal. Seriously, this is getting more ludicrous by the moment. What are these theory going to do next? When they say we locus bought up the judge and had him commit perjury. I know you don't doubt your eyes, but neither do I. I oh, doubt Mr. Tenham was lying. There's only one possibility left, which is that you all saw two is not the same day, but in different places. But a person can't be in two places at once, can they? Disguise? It's like with the crafting bench where we first met Paimon. There ought to be two crafting benches at the stadium, then. Two benches seem mean that the real one was still in its original spot, and we just encountered a fake, then. They say it was fake, but it was much different from the real deal. If it hadn't been tampered with, it would have functioned normally. Exactly, so both crafting benches were genuine. It's so like there is no fake Tozon, and said there are two of him. Two Tozons, our Palma knows where we're going with this. Uh, well, if I hadn't known the man himself for too so long, I might have seriously considered a hypothesis. Actually, maybe I should give it some thought, hmm? For this nonsense is not worth wasting your precious time on, sir. Come on, Tozon, I was just joking. No need to be so nervous, and what we're done for today, huh? Pack eats queen. Stay for a bit, I'll need you to... <coughs> Come with me to the speaker's chamber, as for the rest of you, you're free to go. I've got other things to do, see you. Tozon leaves in silence. So for a moment there, Palmon thought we'd be able to, you know, Shazam turned things around at the last second epic climax, but I guess not. Not that we could prove anything more than guesses, but thank you. No, what we really needed was two Tozons right in front of us. Oh, you know, we might actually have a chance of that. Have you heard the story of the Foolish Thief, Palmon? Foolish Thief, come on, don't eat the Palmon and Tanner Hooks to sell the story. Right, all right, relax. There was once a Foolish Thief who stole a gem from someone and hid in a place only he knew of. The owner of the gem only knew who it was who had committed the theft, not where the gem was hidden. He was a smart man, so he said to the thief... Hey, you thief, I knew you stole my gem, so I've nicked it right back. Don't believe me, go see for yourself, and then he went to the spot. You know, smart, so that's gotta be traveled in Paimon, and they mix the thief and the gem. Papa's got it for sure this time, come on, I get let's catch Tozan, he'll bring us right to his gem hiding hole. Follow Tozan as he departs and catch up to him near the stadium in the sacred flame. But we're back near the stadium in the sacred flame again, guys, so quick, when we lost sight for a second, now he's gone. Good thing about footprints now, let's check all his tracks, Traveler. See this, and... Where's he going? Over here, maybe. Got some flowers, why not? And... Here we are. Tolepa, Tolepa, bad news. Isn't this where Capitano hides out? Um, seriously? Yep. Doppelganger, what are you dealing about? Disturb my beauty sleep you did. Someone's exposed us. I was able to smooth it over for the time being, but... Wait a minute, we got two Tozons here. Twins that I thought, why they do look exactly the same. Seriously, bro, did you invite those two guests over as well? And they're here to get pranked? Are you pranking me? It's you two. I think you two set up shop right under the noses of everyone who goes to the stadium and didn't get discovered. This is what they call hiding in plain sight. Two have pieces of evidence where I know your secret. Come with us to the speaker's chamber and let us hear the truth. Well, after a quest that you keep our little secret, Big Bro, you're the one who brought this on us, so you're going to owe me. Sure. What? Keep your secret. We're on the side of truth here. We're not that easy to bribe. Don't get ahead of yourself. Said anything about a bribe, there's only way you can, one way you can sure secrets kept, so we gotta fight him. Yep. <laughs> no, okay, we probably didn't that. get that in quite a... such a cliche, too. Interesting little warriors here. Oh well. And... Alright. Two and thank you. Hit and ooh, that dealt good damage. And there we are. Walk the two of them in the cages for now. Big Maka Wheedles. Hmm, you two were small time, I'm also more curious. What made you think two on one would be fair odds for you, I mean. You, you little brat, you're not what you seem at all. Two fists against four is unfair, but you'll encounter eight at least. 
We have to do silly. Putman gets four fists on your team in four one hours. Fair soon, you lost square. Right, you win this round, but what about it? Sure, I pulled the trick or two. That's the main hop axe of Saint. Well, saw how dumbstruck he was. Everyone did. The Hawkman's credibility is completely bust. Nothing usual will change that. Already won. Reveal my secrets to the chamber. What you want, you won't save the Hawkwings. It's not for me to decide. I've no interest in your grievances. That's right, we're on the side of the truth. Nothing more, nothing less. Judging your dispute is up to the Speaker's chamber. It should be fun weaving them here for a bit, right? We've got to put back to the stadium until 10 o'clock. Report. Let me out of here and fight us again if you dare. You hear me. I'm not gonna kill you. No testimony, then. So you're just here to go out and rebel. The humiliation of a defeated opponent? That's not a hobby I'd flaunt. Oh, it'll. Just right here and a. Hey, don't touch that. Just you wait. Oh, that's funny! These are their chests. Come on, at least leave us some, huh? We took all their food! Fair enough. Okay. Hello, Tenawa. Tenawa, good thing you're still here. Tell him the whole tale. Known Tozan for ages before he joined the Locust, even. I've never heard he had a twin brother. Could it be in this toilet? I've been switching places all this time, I just didn't notice. It's quite hard to believe, but I doubt you'd joke about something like this. We won't be laughing when you get to their hiding place. In fact, I'll be shocked. It's definitely much closer than you think. Do you have this something I must personally verify? And if that's the case, some old cases will require reinvestigating. Be busy in the coming days, I expect, but for the case, thank you both very much. Don't worry, we just don't like scammers. Speaking of which, Sumak helped a lot this time, didn't she? Indeed, I'll remember it. Once the dust settles, I'm sure that she is rewarded. I'd love to stay in chat, but as I have important matters at hand, please excuse me. Again, thank you, and I hope things go well with you. That's it. Whoa, what a twist. Classic twin mistaken identity. Why not just try and completely turn your train of thought around? That was a lot longer than I expected, actually. Guess that was based with the quest for the stadium area. So, around here is the Saurian's little place. <clears throat> Go and find Theodoric's little hidey hole. That's fun. And grapple, grapple. Get down here. And, yep, this is the place. Monitor graffiti, for those who care. And, oh, we got a Mora Rock from that, fun. That was mean of me. Oh well. Enter. Oh. Maybe this is a good place to camp. Ah, we got the alpaca toy. Enter a rest area through glowing ruined pillars for the second time. So now... This is the rest area. Just area entrance, can't teleport or even navigate, just confirm. You can use these shining stone pillars to access the mini domain you answered when first arriving in Nalan. I proved to be a good place to rest now that the abyss creatures have been driven out. Here. Hmm. Ah, hello. Got the ball, got the alpaca delay. They're coming over here. Uh huh. <clears throat> Last quest to do in that group of Saurian buddy quests. Palma had a guess when she saw the pillars outside that she really didn't expect to end up here. Roar, roar. It's like you like this place at least, though it does make sense. After all, you must have spent a lot of time here before you met us. And one wonders if those glowing pillars would disappear after we this time. So let's clean up a bit first and rest for a while. Theodore and Palma tidy up the place together. And now it's looking pretty good. Roar, roar. You're pretty excited, aren't you, Theodore? So you have something you want to tell us. Roar, 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 roar. How do you want us to turn around? You didn't prepare a surprise for us, did you? Here, easy to read as an open book. All right, then we'll play along. Come on, turn around, and you can hear us the continuous clinking and jiggling. It sounds like Theodore is tinkering with something. After a short while, Theodore starts out a roar, roar. It's probably time to turn back around. Well, that's a lot of stuff. Sticks, egg, and a rock. Palma and Avalox, see a super straight branch, a really round rock, and some strange food with a weird coloring smell. It's probably been left out for who knows how many days. Carefully sucked and collect all these, didn't you? Are they gifts for us? Roar, roar. So we can't eat food that's been left out for too long. Clever eats set, and that includes you. We'd get an upset stomach, so we've got to deal with that first. Roar, roar, but this branch is really something. This rock is really round. 
Shawnee too. Yeah, we cross a lot of rivers and we've seen lots of round rocks. So you can believe us when we say the stone is a gem amongst rocks. Being so nice. Rar rar. Well, happy to take it all. Yeah, just put on Palmon's secret stash's backpack patch. Might come in handy someday. Maybe. That'd be interesting. And since Theodore gave us a gift, we should give him a gift in return. Palmon's secret, she's gotten her secret stash. Well, you're seldom seen generous son makes an appearance. Just what if he squirreled away, Palmon? Palmon said it's her secret private stash. Even if we're the best of buddies, that's not something Palmon can just tell you, you know? Anyway, there's plenty up to give Theodorix a gift. So that's a super shiny gem. Do you like it, Theodorix? Very amber colored. Seems kind of a gift to me. Rar rar. I guess Palmon's picked just a thing, huh? Hey, be careful now, don't drop it. Boy, what does Palmon feel like it'll lose the gem if you hold on to it like that? Why don't we go find the children of Echoes? If anyone's got gemsmiths who could shape it for us, it'd be them. Ah. For a jeweler's shop in the Children of Echoes, and we got a cock of waddle from that. Sworn companion gives you the treasures they've been carefully collecting. Now it would make a good thank you gift. Rar. How are you feeling today? Rar, rar. Hey, Theodore, sure looks like he's in a good mood. Touch his horn, roar. Palm on touch too, head on wriggle, you're tickling palm on's palm. And... <clears throat> about the golden designs, roar. And the golden designs you speak of are probably those iridescent inscriptions. But sometimes palm can't see them where you say they are, guru. No need for you to start ruling, it's better not to see some things. Theodore's and travel, you two be careful, okay. Can't read those scrolls. Some random deer around. Oh, you actually have HP. Interesting. Best way to take them down would probably so they're like the goats over in Chenyu. Okay, and best way would probably be. I Wait, I can't. Can I not lock onto them? Seems like you can't. Well, their HP bar has to appear first. It seems. Okay. Hmm. Guess we can pop out and leave. Go get it fixed. Maybe we'll be able to use the pillars to go rest in that place, Roar. Suppose so. Hmm. Go get that shaped. Right over there. Oh, right, the jeweler shop. With jewelers. Oh, should be around here. Yeah. This. He makes Shaven. And Ikno. Ikno was the one who did bad things, right? Who tried to steal everyone's memories with. Lakali or whatever her name was. I think so. He makes. Hello. Apprentice, welcome to our shop. If you feel like this has got a gemstone, you're in the right place. Hey there, we do have a gemstone here, and we like to have it custom process. It's for our old tablet with source companion to die. Here it is. Oh, this gem is of truly exceptional quality. Look at the size and how clear it is. If you like a custom job, the processing will be quite difficult. That sounds familiar, so what's next? Extra fees? No, of course not. Just, just what kind of person do you think I am? Shop specializes. In order of cutting and polishing gemstones, if we run into a good one, we'd rather polish it for free and let's beauty speak for our qualities. It carries our name out in the world. Never set high prices willy-nilly. Just as a good artisan seeks the best materials to work with, so do the best gemstones require a suitable artisan to work with them. There's just such a gem master, and he would be perfect for doing this one justice. It's amazing we'll call the gem master out. Probably a temple of Saurus, maybe? Ah, oh, but you might need to seek, make an appointment in advance if you'd like to see him. If you don't, chances are he'll be out seeking inspiration, seeking inspiration. And Mr. Kuaha is pretty unusual, even among master craftsmen. It's a believe that artisans should just polish a gemstone according to blueprints. They should understand how to observe all the beauty the natural has to offer. Example warning polishing techniques from the tiny ripples on the lake's surface, or fretwork patterns from the shifting and billowing clouds. Calls it gathering inspiration. Sounds kind of complicated, so if you're in a hurry, you can go out and find him wherever he happens to be gathering inspiration from, and mark where he said he was going for you. Maybe he's over in the rest area already. Well, someone is raiding you, so you're definitely with the most sparkly gems. Thanks for the compliment, you're welcome. Oh, she probably sells artifacts. So it's not right there, but it actually is rather close nearby. Okay. Hmm. Let's find the right spot. Shu and Ed could climb this pretty well. Okay, and... Cool. Nice. Right over here. 
Do I see him? Yep, I do see him. That person over there really be the gem master. Let's go ask. Rar. Squirrel, speak with the gem master. If there's a temple of Saurus here now. He probably wants to do some challenge. Maybe cool, huh? <coughs> Excuse me, um, are you master cool, huh? That is, in fact, my name. Huh? So, the gem master who's looking for inspiration came looking for you based on Emix's recommendation. Notice you were staring at the tree just now. We're in the middle of mining your gems of creativity. Actually, forget it. It's not important anymore. Signs, there's something I can help you with. Brought a beautiful gem soon. We were hoping you'd press it for Theodorix. Come on, Theodorix, show him. Rarara. <coughs> you hear the fluttering of avian wings by your ears by the time you recover. The gem has vanished. And Theodorix is caused without a trace. Oh, so we gotta grapple to catch it back. Rawr, rawr. Well, wait a sec, where's the gem? Where could such a huge gem have gone off to? Which seems like a bird nicked it. Heck, the birds here steal stuff, rude. Roar, roar. Actually, what I was about to say was, even if the gem hadn't just been stolen, I still couldn't help you cut it. <coughs> so my tools were also stolen by those damn birds. Harsh. I was actually just careful looking at those birds, going over them one by one to see which one of them had their dirty claws in my tools. Is that even possible? These birds are just the worst. Come on, drow, let's go get that gem back. <coughs> roar, and don't forget about my tools, too. Shoot the lost gem and the tools. Yep, we got a grapple. Over there in that tree, you can see it shine. I'll perch up there in the tr on the tree, because they'd pl be planning to build a nest with my tools. My bare friends is all up to you. The pain of being without the means to earn my own bread. Do they even eat bread here? Alright. And a Yunkasaur in there for some reason. And a bird. Oh, well, let's not aggravate you. Investigate. Mm -hmm. It's a message. Carving toolbox, alright, let's put it away for now. Suitcase that contains all the tools used by the gem master. Cool, huh? And when working gems, some of the tools within are not expensive, but they sure are handy. And the gem. Ooh. Oh, we gotta keep going over there. More grapple points from this tree line. Okay. It's gonna be the jammer. Something else. This is... Why do these birds want the carving tools so badly? Pump doesn't get it. Anyway, let's put them away. Tools and parts. Okay. Tool artisan's toolbox. Tool artisan's box of parts. Suitcase containing parts required for drill processing by Gem Master Cool, huh? Components inside are all made of precious materials. This one is over there. Okay. No platform needed. Scrabble over, and there we go. Cool. Got it, so it's here all along. A gem meant as a gift. Report back to the gem master. Crystal clear, yellow gemstone. Palm intends to give it to your sworn companion. But you'll need to process the gem well before it's truly ready to be given away as a gift. It's all done. Now we can head back and look for Master Kuaha. So we can just grapple our way back. It's not a problem. That Fulgiston back is helpful. Let's... Wait. Oh, that's all gone now. Hmm. Be a good way to... Uh, grapple back then. Will we get in range here? I guess we won't. If we glide over, we can. Get a bit closer that way. Cool. <clears throat> and there we are. Here we are. Can this be? My tools are back. Oh, this is amazing. I didn't get a good look before, but I must say, that one, now that's one pretty gem. It's got the faint same fleshy yellow as a bird's tarsus. Well, I shan't use those blasted scoundrels in my analogies. The sky just brightening at dawn, like the first rains of the sun, that kind of early morning sky color. And that's a good description for a master. Metaphors aren't very masterful. That's the meaning of that's meaning of gathering inspiration. Oh, so you've heard of the practice before. Either way, just leave the gem to me. As I said before, I'll press it for free. Consider it a gift for your help in retrieving my tools. As for how long it'll take, drop by the gem in two days' time. Wait until two days later. Right over here. But his name's not Mahuru. Who's Mahuru? Okay. Either way, after this, I suppose I'll go and just do... Oh! 
Those TCG challenges. Come on. <clears throat> okay. Go to the gem point to retrieve the gem. Yeah. While you're here, Master Kuoha has already ref left your process gem in the shop, leaving instructions that I personally go over it to you. Oh, Master Kuoha is in here today either. Despite he's out gathering inspiration yet again, by the way, he also made a set of locks to carry with him, saying it was to prevent his tools from being stolen, which is weird. But anyone wanted to steal our cutting tools and sell them. Of course they wouldn't, it's because so Emix still to know they were stolen by birds. Let's spell cool, huh? The embarrassment. Because because there's somebody who thinks they can steal skills that way too, huh? The birds might have thought that actually. They wanted to build a nest with them. Forget it anyway, we'll take the gem. The shape is so pretty. It's what you'd call a masterwork, huh? Well, then use the tools as components for the nest roar. Just like Theodorx really likes it too. I'm allowing me to thank you on Theodorx's behalf. Hey now, as long as your little story likes it, I'll be sure to pass on your comments, Master Cool, huh? Please come again. And. Gemstone jewelry has been stored in the rest area. So, in that case. Let's just check. We got. A Fugiston Ball and Alpaca Toy. And then we got that jewelry. Let's just go check that out. Thank you. Grapples are real fun. Okay, and... Down there. Cool. Let's go in. I also want to see if I can take out... One of those deer... They're actually just gone now. Huh. Oh well. Nothing new. Yeah, nothing new. Okay. There's no option just to leave the dialogue tree. Okay. Check out everything. Where's the... Oh, is that the... I think this is the gemstone jewelry. Right... There's the Fulgesson Ball. And the Alpaca Toy is... It's the Alpaca Toy. Can't have disappeared, it's just... In a place not immediately obvious to me. I... Wait. Must really be going blind. Or it... Okay. Before I get out of here, I need to find where that alpaca toy went. Because I know that I'm basically brainless right now, but still. It's not here. Does it shuffle back and forth when you leave the area, or... Wait. can't imagine I would have broke it. I... No, it was literally just right behind him. Uh, I need to be put down. Okay. So we should gradually get more things in here. We'll see what happens. So I suppose that the only thing really left to do is to defeat those four TCG challenges and we'll be chilling. It's fine with me. <clears throat> Gotta make some more decks first. What skins would I be able to get? I got so many of the dynamic skins by doing weekly matches. So it's get a few of these cards, none of which I actually use, but <laughs> this. Puts in cards with a different name. The big thing is that most of the challenges really want you to play cards and play cards with cards that aren't originally in your deck. I'm trying to think. Gotta clear out some old decks I don't use anymore first. I don't use this one anymore. I don't use this one anymore. So for old challenges. I don't use that anymore. This is good for anything animo. We got four spaces for four decks to use for the four challenges. I can figure this out. Let me think. Forge Realms Tamper. Hmm. Very curious. 
Okay, we'll start with the first one. Mixing Field of Lightning. <clears throat> Every two cards you play. So card draw. But getting cards. So a lot of card draw. And low cost cards. It's an interesting idea. Coaches lose one energy, heal the Abyss Lector Violet Lightning for one HP. And there are two of those Abyss Lectors. It's going to be interesting to figure out. Lecture is applied to all your characters, which also means they benefit from Mono Electro. They can steal energy from you if got Electro on you. Let's make a new deck. I'm trying to think. Card draw. The most obvious one is, of course, Leeway Harbor Wharf. Just to get more cards in. Beyond that, I... It's certainly something. It's cheap cards that I can play without having to worry too much. It's for techniques. I... Julian Glova. It's cards with a low cost that I can toss out basically just to get energy. But techniques are not going to be easy to use. I... That's more cards. Could even use that with characters who benefit from <clears throat> taking damage. I think especially given how... Oh, I think Rathesley would actually be good here. Because... Both the Hydro Herald and the Electro Electors will put up a shield that we'll need to get rid of. The fact that you can deal a lot of cryo hits easily without too much dice cost is good. And he can also decrease his burst cost in a round. That is an interesting idea. Hmm, just trying to think. I think Mamer's free. Kujirai is really good for adventure challenges because it can never benefit the other side. Vanarana is always good, just things that I can play without having to worry about cost. This could actually be good. Maybe. Just focusing on low cost cards that I can just play for the sake of playing. And if I'm playing a bunch, then probably gain benefit from Weeping Willow. Ito card? That could be good. Maybe. But Weeping Willow would probably be good for me. Timmy could be good, but no, he has to stay in there. We can't really afford to change him out. Sid Chapel isn't good because we're just using our own cards. Which is Weeping Willow cost? Just one. Main thing is, that's more cards if we play a bunch of cards, and we're going to be playing a bunch of cards. The question is, what else is going to be good? Things that I... Well, Paimon is more or less free. It just converts dice. I'm trying to get as many cards as possible. As quickly as possible, and... There is a part of me that thinks... I might want to try to get at least one of these two cards, maybe both of them even, right at the start of the fight, just to get the card drawn up, and maybe have someone I can afford to sack a bit. Oh no, this is incredible. These are incredible. Yep, draw a card if you take damage. Yeah, we'll take Vorakasha, and this is actually one of the rare cases where Vorakasha is actually good for something. The question is who else I put in... Honestly, maybe Barbara, just for the sake of self-hydro app. I could see that being useful. Just to clear element. But other than that... Hmm. Hard to say. <sighs> Draw cards. Cards played. Maybe you could go for Chivros if you want to be really silly. 
go for an overload team or something, but... I'm gonna try with Esli. There's a non-zero chance that Chavros actually is the way. Chavros team and... I think that's Chavros Seahorse. And then one other character, just any other character, really could be a good option. Just because... It could maybe be worth it to get Depths of Temptation since we'll be boosting our energy up. Though to be fair, that's mostly about staying alive, not about actually using Burst. Hmm. The Chavros and the Seahorse could work well for card draw together, maybe. It's tough to say. For someone who creates cards that can be played as part of their... Oh, that's a fun idea, actually. Fiorina would get us a free card. It's one extra free card. All it does is change her RK, but that's fine. It's per round, win battle begins. Yep, that's just one extra free card. Okay. Let's see if this works. This deck. Okay. All right. All right. Hmm, for every two cards you play. Those are all good options. I like those. War breeds war. End phase, electro application. One short of their maximum energy, heal for one HP. Basically, a way to drain us. Okay. Mm -hmm. I. Wonder what burst would be best here. It's about sort of boosting my burst DPS. Hmm. Main thing is damage or is healed two times in total this round. Just by up to two. One less unaligned element. Normal attack. Just one less cryo die. Hmm. I... This might be good. Maybe. Maybe. For the... Opposing characters are... Hmm. It's basically a matter of... Hit as hard as you can. As early as you can. I feel like each of them is gonna have to be killed. A single round and then maybe I'll try swirling or something. It's interesting. Let's unaligned element. Sure. Alright. That's good damage, actually. Hmm. If we can make healing not matter anymore, that would be nice. Hmm. It's tough. I... Hmm. I have to convert a bit. Which damage are we gonna take here? Wait, I didn't equip that? Wait, what? I thought I equipped that. That, whatever. Hmm. I think this could actually do the trick. But. We gotta try that again. Hmm. Mm hmm. Keeping Rathesley alive is one thing. But I honestly do think that... Getting a bunch of overcharge balls with Chevy might be the way to do it. Maybe. Strifle Lightning. Thundering Manifestation, Chevy, and... A... Seahorse might actually be a good way to manage this. Maybe. Not entirely sure. Okay. Cool. Let's see how much we can get in here. 
Mm, draw one card, heal. That's fine. Alright. Put that on you. We'll card draw in. And I suppose we can start punching. Yeah, but the is the only one who even does damage, is the thing. That's kind of the issue. Mm -mm. Got my mare. Fun. I. This normal deals one damage. That's fun. And I. Mm -mm. The energy was kind of a waste. Well, alright. Better more energy than not enough, but honestly, I do think this, but with Chevy, it would be good. Hmm. All right. And the cost of Dark Old Wolf Light is going back up. Yeah, this has got to be a matter of boosting burst damage before all else to literally burst them down. <clears throat> Especially since if you give Chevy Oh if you give Chevy the Fontaine Spear. Fontaine Craftable Spear. It makes her real good too. Hmm. Okay. Boy Pat. Thank you. Oh, we got Taramaru. Hmm. What do I want to put down then? Yeah, this actually is not how you want to do this. Okay. Mm -mm. Reducing the cost doesn't help all that much because you don't want to go on runs, you want to play a bunch of cards. Yeah, this is not the way to do it. Okay. Yeah, if I just put in Chevy with... Mm -mm. Could make this work. You get card draw from both Thunder Manifestation and the Seahorse. Hmm. Let's edit that deck. This is tough. This might require a bit more consideration, really. Maybe. I think I can at least get one of these done today. Hopefully. Let's see what cards would be good. This is okay. It's free. Hmm. Boss card draw. Let's boost damage. That could be good. But it costs dice. This is just normal. Draw one card. That's really good. It's just basically more cards for free. Uh, we don't have a character who benefits from taking damage anymore. Let's put that in. And then... Honestly... I can see... Emblem being really good here. Burst boot, boost, burst damage. Oh, but who do I take out? That's the thing. <clears throat> It's just about increasing burst damage. Mm -mm. This is a good one because it also includes energy and it's cheap. I... It's hard to choose. Healing is not as important. We can trade that out. Honestly, I... It's card draw, but really what we want is burst. I... Putting two spears in there might actually be dangerous, because the second one won't be good for much of anything, but this is also a burst damage boost, and helps boost energy. Yeah, okay. This could be sweet. Could be. That's some decent ways to stack up elemental hits. That would help take down some of... Oh, well. 
For the final shield, it's just going to be about playing overcharge balls, actually. Hmm. I... We need this to come out. We need this to come out. Okay, to draw another card. I... Oh! That was so stupid. Forgot I'd selected that. Okay. <clears throat> Whatever. Whatever, we're trying this again. Okay. Okay. <sighs> These are all pretty decent. But I really, really want... Strifle Lightning. Uh... Because uh. Lightning Rod goes from the start of the match. That's going to be active all the time. Gotta make sure we have access to it. Hmm. And that's, again, the wrong one. We need to get Strifle Lightning out and to start an overcharge. Probably... Just need to make sure we can... First round is basically set up. Second round would be... Scoring kills. Second and third would be scoring kills, and then it's a matter of... <coughs> using the overcharge balls to just... Destroy the Lecter Shields. Well, actually... That's right. You only need one overcharged ball at the end. Because... Every overcharged ball hitting the electro shield is going to create another overcharged ball. That's right. Okay. This. Okay, we got pearl solidification. That's good. Switch is going to be tough, though. Okay. Hmm. You want vertical force coordination. I... Mm -mm. Nobody is getting a decrease in anything. Mm -mm. Let me see. Lightning strike. Move of the state. Only one can exist at once. Okay, and... Well, actually, that, yeah, that's once per round. So we probably do need to save that up at least a little. Let's equip you with that. And... Sure, we'll play Weeping Willow. Sure, we'll play this. Some of that is unfortunately going to have to be wasted, though. One die is going to end up just not getting used. Hmm. Alright. You are going to... Get... Oh, right. We do have that ready, technically. I need to make more use of that then. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Two cards you play. Active character gains one energy. Blowing Slash, that will heal you. That's alright. Lightning Probe is on you. Okay. I... Hmm... How can we make sure we do really target that one? Hmm. It's all about managing to get those bursts going. Strifle lining. Sure. Thundering shackles. Let's just try this and see how much that does for me. Hmm. That might not actually work all that well. Got the overcharge ball, but it only does so much. Now you've got it on you. It's not good. Because in that case... You've got Lightning Rod on you now, and that's not good. Hmm. Honestly, there's a part of me that feels like Sucro's... Some kind of swirl reaction team might do this best. 
But it does seem like you really, really need to target them to make that work. That's what irks me. Hmm. If we heal you... I can't use that, is the thing. Try some of this and I can get... Burst off with Shabby, but that will only do so much. That hurt. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Alright. I think we should switch to you. This is a lot more complex than I would have liked or intended. Okay. Alright. Head and drain me. But it's not healed all the way back, at least. Now that... It's not unworkable. It's unpleasant, but it's not unworkable. Mm. Okay. Rechargeable is... tough. Alright. Honestly... Probably a case where I should... Well, you'll drain my energy. Huh. It's not great. You have... That on you, or... You've got the probe on you now, so I didn't get a chance to use it. Again. Not good. Alright. Hmm. That's a decent... Uh, let's play a bunch of cards to try to get stuff back or something. Oh, only played of active characters, Mondial Pearl Seahorse. That's not fun. Hmm. What did this? That would take you out. That is true. Hmm. Get rid of you, actually. Give me my shackles. Oh, actually... We just need to play this. Not as useful as I expected. It's that in the card, too. That finally gets rid of you. Thank you. Hmm. Switches. Now you've got your shield. Okay. Hmm. Just see... Should have been like kind of agonizing. But at least I can maybe get some back. Solidify that pearl or something, but. What else? You'll be healed three. Okay, I get the impression that some kind of swirling is going to have to go on here. I don't know what character is going to be best, because there aren't really animal characters who are... It would be really funny if I ended up having to use Farazan. I feel like Farazan might actually kind of do well here. Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out. Hmm. Main thing is with Farazon. She can help boost damage pretty significantly and also heal. Hmm. Alright. There we are. Cool, and oh, but you boosted burst cost. That's right. Hate that. Still got a weapon on you. Four ends, normal attacks, that won't do much, though. Yeah, go ahead, die. It's a question of Farazan, someone who, whose damage Farazan can boost, which might actually just be Farazan. And... Yeah, that's... rather aggravating. Hmm. Okay. And energy for nothing. It... 
feel like the pressurized collapses could also actually be useful with Farzone. Maybe. Well, either way, that's just... This deck is not going to hack it. I'm going to try this again. Okay. Uh, we did TCG. Good amount of TCG today. Oh, right. The fight does, does just keep going. That's right. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to figure out what kind of deck I got to use for this. Hmm. Okay, cool. I guess I just run Talent Domain three times and that's it. Got a lot of... Got all the quests done, at least. That's not nothing. Even if... Still have a lot of exploration to do, which is probably going to get done next patch. <clears throat> yeah, I think next patch I'll just play this game and basically nothing else for that month. Let's <laughs> so get all of that exploration done, or at least most of it. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Okay. Go run for... Conflict books three times. Chaska will appreciate that. And then, yeah, tomorrow's goal will be actually beat those stupid TCG challenges in addition to doing the Hita event. That's reasonable. Okay. Three quick runs. Hello, hello. One, two. Hit, and good damage, hit again, good damage, and let's hope that we can- Oh, you went underground and totally avoided the missile. I hate you so much. Okay, just a couple more. It is nice to have Milani here. Permanent Pirate really does benefit her. Oh, we got two gold pots out, nice. Because it's 9 bronze, 63 silver, and 66 gold for talents to 999, which is about as much as you ever needing to need. Everything else is just overkill. Rather significantly, and that crit, nice, and there we are. What can you finish you off? The Dia. Mark is gone, but the Dendro Shreds are sis. One more quick run, and we'll be done. Okay. <coughs> lots and lots of conflict books that time. Definitely gotten luckier today than I did the last time. Okay. One, two. One, two, three. What did I get this time? And thank you, and that... They're still valid targets, even when they're not hittable? But that's ridiculous. Okay. I do not like that. Thank you, and shoot. One, two. Shoot, and... Okay. Alright. At least we're chilling. And... I did take the other one out, so it seems there's just... A period of invulnerability that... Before... I was managed to circumvent. This time they've actually managed to some quirk of my rotation timing to actually just avoid that damage. Who knows? Okay, I'm just gonna craft that real quick. Move them all up a level to see just how many I got. <clears throat> and then yeah, I'll sleep on it and hopefully tomorrow I can figure out a good group of teams to use for those TCG challenges because breaking those shields is an idea. That's for sure. Okay. Got conflict books. Got five of those to make sure we have nine left over. Got a bonus. Oh, nice. Six of those to make sure we have 63 left over. And now we just need... Only need 16 more and... Some of that will come from Battle Pass. So thank you very much and San Ragan. Well, I thought I'd be able to beat those challenges today, but they're always a pain in the rear. At least we got a quest done. See ya.